Hello, everyone, and welcome to Perilous Pursuits, a live D&D podcast where a bunch of us nerdy-ass DMs sit around and play D&D. The well-accustomed group of adventurers known as Fortune's Favor works to explore their newly acquired castle just outside of Waterdeep. Warning, some content may be not suitable for all audiences. And now, let's jump into tonight's episode of Perilous Pursuits. Alright, so let's roll for a recap. Oh no. Oh yes. Can I, can I use come... my inspiration? <laughs> oh, bitches. No. Lucky feet? Mm-hmm. No. 16? 17. You don't get to add anything to These this. These dice are on fire. It's, it's, it's whoever gets the highest, right? I told you. What are you going to no. say for your rate captain then? There is basically nothing that happened last time other than the... Oh, well, did you, you roll a one? I rolled a one. <laughs> Oh, Calder rolled, oh, a six. It doesn't matter. Really <laughs> I got a 19. All right, Fern, why don't you tell us uh, what happened? Well, uh, I, we had like a relatively peaceful-ish night after the uh, the whole ghost attack and uh, Dagger and uh, 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 Nyrax snuck out to the kitchen and uh, drank all the foods. Uh, in the morning, we uh, found where they were. We were pretty. Um, Mario Doc was pretty pissed at them. Was he? He was, because yeah, they, was. they they broke all the wine. No, oh, we not all we the wine. We broke wine. Right, right, right. And it wasn't wine. It was. It was wine. It was, it was wine. wine. Yeah. And he got a beer belly. 180 liters went on the floor. Yeah, knocked it up. Uh. And uh, Nyrex tried to get the butler to clean it up, and the butler just gave him a mop. <laughs> Remember that? And uh, Nyrex Ooh. was not going to, or not Nyrex, uh, Mary Doc was refusing to pay the butler any money. I paid him 10 gold. <laughs> yeah, you wrote Mary Doc, though, doesn't, it was trying to convince him that that was his lifetime's wages. Uh-huh. And, uh, Seems fair. Yeah. Dagger uh, called Mary Doc. Uh, not Dagger. No, Dad called Mary Doc <laughs> lawful Jewish. Oh, <laughs> God. No. You had to bring we him. don't need to hear that again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, we had a little trip around the the manor, the keep, uh, with the butler, showing us wherever everything was. The butler was pretty adamant for us not to go down the uh, to the basement because that's where the uh, shadowy evil entity was and uh that's weird calder is an unassigned uh, we character. found some pretty yeah, cool no. rooms like there was a uh, an armory <laughs> <cool>. and uh <laughs> there's a lot to uh, look through. Area. and uh yeah it was it was a it's a really nice key that we all own now we have some dreams so- oh yes and i uh i talked to my uh, uh to one of my gods and you it, also had a dream about Bodo? Bodo, yeah. I, I did have a dream about Bodo. Oh, and no, ice, not Bodo. Ice, uh, ice Fire Peak? Ice Fire Peak? Yes. Bodo? He was being tortured. Yeah. Bodo also, the, I have the jitters right now. Bodo's Bodo, the Bodo. level 7 halfling cleric ranger slash hunter slash nature queen? Yes. That was your character, wasn't it, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was Bodo, not Odo. Uh, you had a, I thought you had a Bodo in uh, my campaign. Yeah, Water Deep. my guy was Bodo. This guy is Odo. Oh, okay. From Deep Space Nine. It's way different. Totally Bodo. different. Bodo was stolen from Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Bilbo? No, or... Bodo was Bobo. one of the names That's of the, uh, one of the Hobbits. Like a no, a nothing Hobbit. Okay. Okay, so. Uh... Day, uh, we're, we're about uh, midday yeah. uh, on the first day that you've had this keep and we established that it's been approximately a week that Galfred has been in alive and with the sound of music and you have just Oh yeah, why is this over here? <laughs> and you have just <laughs> popped the bubble on this particular castle, oh, and God. so 
We have a job to do. We have to hire a cook, a cook server, and a server, a master brewer, a brewer's assistant, table master, table hand gardener, two maids. Only two maids? <laughs> how, much, how dirty are you going to be? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all the sheep shit you got to wash out of his robes. <laughs> have you heard the previous recording? <laughs> do we need to... Okay. At least the toilets will be clean. <laughs> True. All right, so uh, are you going to make a trip to town to hire some people, or what's going on? Should we bring been... people here until we deal with the end? Yeah, we got to deal with this darkness. I feel like that would... I, I think we should have a hiring fair down in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever makes it gets hired. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you're tough enough to make it here, you're tough enough to work inside. I have a really dark mind. I wasn't... Yeah. Anyways, let's go down. We need to do whatever it does to remove the curses from Maybe us. Maybe we should close the front door and lock it. So right somebody on. doesn't wander in here and claim the place. I think the statue is blocking the door. That's blocking that door to the courtyard, yeah. yeah you can still go through it, though. Yes? Yeah, but we can't go through close it. But you though. can't close it at this point. Oh, you did talk about shrinking down the statue, and you did, didn't we move and, it? And Nyrex stone shaped the face to match Orlear. Mm -hmm. Just the face. So now it's Orlear's head and Timor's body. <laughs> yeah. Orlear's <Well, you're> stack. <laughs> it's Tylear. I presented. I look good. <laughs> oh, that was Gord with the list. I thought you sent that list out. No. <laughs> I'm not telling you who you have to hire. I didn't know Gord had a list. I was writing it down as we we're doing the tour. Yeah. Oh. This is how okay. he wants to spend his money. And we need a dungeon master, too. We have a dungeon master. Uh -huh. For the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know if you have a dungeon. Chief Torture. Downstairs. So. Oh, we have a basement. We don't know what we have down there. Waterboarding cable. So we didn't actually do any of that stuff with the statue, right? So the statue's still in the way? I, I, I'm assuming he doesn't have fourth level spells. I don't know, maybe he does. You're missing a local harlot in this list. Uh, no. That's Penny. Um, I don't um, know. <laughs> <laughs> Nyrex, are you... Are you um, were you joking around last week when you said, "Oh, I'm gonna stone shape and change this"? I mean, no, I was planning. I was planning to do that for a long time. If you're spinning the spell slots, yeah, uh, burn them, and you'll say that it happened, and then you move the statue, right? Because you reduced it down and were able to move it. Yep, I reduced it. And he he made it look beautiful. So then you got to burn your spell slots to do the reducing or the yep. moving, whatever you... Uh... What level of druid are you? Because you're partly monk, right? Seven. Seven. You have fourth level spells in your seventh level? Seventh level druid. Yeah, I got fourth level. So that's your one fourth level spell you have memorized? Uh, I got to take a look. <laughs> you burned it already. <laughs> right. The druid, so you could have more than one. Everybody's burnt the spell slot. Yeah. Right. And so, in that case, we can move the statue. Okay. That's going to be a trick. Is it an icon? No, it's in the GM layer. Uh, yeah, it is an icon, but it's in the GM. In the map background layer? Yeah. Or the GM info layer? I don't know. I couldn't connect to the internet, so I, I can't use my computer. Technically, you could move the whole map, so it's in the right spot. Yeah, just move the castle. Don't move the castle. <laughs> uh, uh, it's probably in the cheating spot, then. Or not. <laughs> Maybe it was in the map thing, and then you were just clicking the actual... I think you need to load up Foundry is what you need to do. Okay, so oh, look at it. how much easier than Foundry that was. You Holy move it back to here. It actually works. So uh, should we, shouldn't we like move it right to this? I don't know. Are you going to cover the hole? Remember, there's a hole. 
I don't think we wanted to cover the hole. We didn't want to cover the hole. Okay, so where... Maybe she's... She just has right her... in front of the hole or something. Maybe yeah, she has her legs... Come to pray and fall in the hole. No, they pray in front of the statue, not behind it. They pray in front of the hole and then in front of Timora. Well, slash earlier. Put the statues so that if you're standing in front of it, there isn't a hole in front of it. We could put it on top of the hole and then cut stone in between her legs, make it so we can go, go down the hole still. The hole between her legs? Uh, I'm not cutting. Okay. Are you happy where, where it's sitting right now? Yes. Sure. I don't care. Can as long we close as we close the, the gate, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, you can close the doors. One of the doors has taken uh, fire damage. It needs to be repaired. At least we can still close one of the doors. That's what Calder does all day. <laughs> yeah, he's the by the doors. Repairing the Fiction. door. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Asking you if you're getting paid and dodging the question. Okay, well, um, he's new. If he's... you guys are doing nothing, I'm gonna start making some rolls. He's getting hazed. Okay, so let's. What what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go down? Yeah, I think you guys should go down and get down monsters. the hall or clean out the go... basement. Here, holy oh. man, can you just like excise the spirit? Like I tried that when you were sleeping. It didn't work. Maybe you need to be down in the fire. I think your whole. Um, uh, Lack of dermis would be repaired. Yeah, well, that's my primary goal right now is to get new skin. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also incredibly. I forgot. I'm incredibly. It's not about the skin part. They say a hairless cat right. is gross. Right now. <laughs> I can't Old take herbal? any hits. Somebody else has to go in front of me. Do now. we want to go down the hall or the stairs? The stairs on the bottom right. I keep forgetting that I have to do this. I think we should take the stairs just because that's our exit. Like, yeah. keep it clear. Someone could cut the rope and we're stuck down there. Yeah, but if we take... Or we drop it again and then... Stairs would be better. Yeah, so let's go down the stairs. Okay, good. We're going down the stairs. You can... You can follow behind. Yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be there. I'm just not going to be in the front. Okay. Well, you can kind of see through you anyways. Uh, the stairs that were uh, on the first floor in the main kitchen. Now, do I have to move the characters first? No. To move the players to the other map? To go to the other map? Yeah. No, you just have to go... go to different layer, right? Just grab that red banner and drag it over to... That first layer. floor. As long as uh, yeah, you gotta click on first floor. But we're still not wanting to come with us. What? You might as well just talk with a regular voice. So we can understand. Yeah, you. Yes. Butler, sir, do you still not want to come with us? Do you still not want to come with us? You might as well just talk with a regular voice. So we can understand. Yeah, you. Yes. Butler, sir, do you still not want to come with us? Uh, if your guys are going to the basement, I'm not going down there. I wouldn't be any help to you. Varn, if you if you have to talk like that, then that means that Ray has to actually cut his skin off. Oh, okay, I'm fine with this. <laughs> Proper roleplay. I'm, I'm, I'm not committed to this gig anymore. Oh God, how sharp is it? <laughs> the cheese grater. <laughs> well, let's go down. Mary, you should get one of those rocks that makes this thing fly. What? Never heard of it. It would be something from the Netherreal Empire. Yeah. I don't think. Uh... Let's do it. Let's go to Harua. They can help us. Right now. Just plug it into the carriage. I don't know if Waterdeep will be happy if we take out like a big chunk of land near them. Well, it's our land. Yeah. Whatever we want. Yeah, that's true. Set the carriage on like Arua or something. Let's see if it just takes. We should right put there. one of the stones on the carriage instead. What happens if we take the carriage and like tell it to go across water or something? Is it submersible? 
Yeah, it's like a James Bond. It switches yeah, into a ground. Room. We all just drown. It just goes underwater, and just the doors won't open <laughs> until we get there. The wheels tuck in underneath. There, the doors. Open DPK, all we start a new campaign. <laughs> it just drives this along the bottom of the ocean. This was my plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> we, we play new characters who are trying to get to Nyrx's body because he has like the note for the pastor to, to his count on him. Oh, brother. Yeah. The whole campaign. Okay. Maris's note. Well, uh, we're going anyone... to the stairs. Can anyone move the tokens? No, I can't. I can't. No. They're there on the drawbridge, but I can't I can't click any of them. You might be on the wrong layer now. Alright, <clears throat> on the tokens an objects layer. What if they're not on that layer this time though? What if they, they, they are they <coughs> are Foundry. Oh. Mm. They're on the background layer right now. I'm not big boy. I'm smart. Should be able to just slow. Yeah, you know. yeah, I got them all. So now just what? Control C and Control P on the other map. Control C, Control V, Control V. Whatever it is, you do the thing that you do with your fingers when you're copy pasting. Control C, Am I copying them? I'm cutting them. You and I know that. Well, you just copy. What? Well, do the thing with the fingers. Background layer as well. They can stay and they need to be on every map. They probably are already set on the other map. Pretty sure I did that. Okay, well. Just build wrong layer. Well, I like the wrong map, sorry. <laughs> yeah, because this is the main the dungeon map. Right, but I thought we were at least going to the first floor first. No? Yeah, that's true. We want to go straight to the dungeon. Well, I assume we, go, we went down the stairs. Yeah, the dude told us which stairs to take in the top right corner or top left corner. Okay, right? so you're going we'll down the stairs. stairs. Yeah. Well, so we the, don't even need to be on this map. So why are we trying to? We're not. Will the carriage be down the stairs? The <laughs> carriage. Tell the carriage to go to the basement. It's indestructible. Well, it's It'd be cover. Okay. Uh, the stairs. The stairs go down into uh, what looks to be uh, another wine cellar. Uh, it looks to be like um, like the long-term bottled storage, and there's many nice. bottles of wine storage in cellar beneath the wine, uh, beneath that small pantry. I, so. I glare at Nyrax and the dagger. No, I'm full, thanks. <laughs> we went um, to the wrong room. I hope it's fine in the room we were in. Okay. Okay, so I have created uh, basically the basement layer of this map is uh, an identical layout of the floor that you see here but the rooms are different you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i don't, I don't have another map for this floor we're going to use this map as the floor beneath you know what i'm saying the first yeah. floor which map there is a dungeon there is a dungeon map yeah. i'm saying there's a basement floor that you don't even know about that is now here. Okay. I've just given you another whole floor to your castle. So it's this one we're looking it's at right now? It's this layout. Okay. But it's not these rooms. It doesn't have a great hall. It doesn't have, you know. Okay. Is there a second thing. statue of Tamara? <laughs> no. So is there a big courtyard? No. There's no big courtyard. So is it just stone there? Is it's, it just, it's just as it goes into the basement, it's the same. Uh, foundation as this layout, but you can't get outside anymore. It's That's just now. solid rock. Yeah. So we can maybe build whatever we want down there. It's it's not an uh, open space. I know we'll have to mine Excavate. through it, but cobalt's are like it's not solid rock. It's this layout. There are rooms, it, but you just don't know what the rooms are because I can bust I don't have a wall. I'm still thinking uh, like the mold color over here on this wall <laughs> and we should take out that wall there yes. a so, renovation day and, and go through into 
I like the open concept. You need to reface the cabinets, clearly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so go downstairs. You're now in the uh, wine cellar beneath the pantry. Okay. Okay. They're the same hallways and stuff like that. If you would like to continue to go further east or further west, it's up to you. You know, you're connected to the, the keep. Do you have like a pulling towards anything evil around here? Do you uh, feel yeah, but my god told me that we need to go to that water. Well, why don't we go down the rope then? Because we need to be able to cover our exit. Oh. Clear our way down there. I'm assuming that this is going to connect to that area. But actually, that was a different floor then, because this is not the dungeon floor. Yeah, that was a lot yeah, further a lot down, further I would know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. He noticed as he was being struck by lightning. So maybe we should go down the rope instead of down here? I don't know. I thought this was the same level as that, but this is a different thing. Right. We could just take a hole right here. Maybe... Why don't so, we just? It, it takes floor, basement, something underneath. Dungeon or like cavern, right? We seen right. cavern, him and I, right? And I think Dagger went down. Maybe this was here beforehand, and when we, brought, when you brought in the keep, it disturbed this whatever this was. Because awesome. did you? Yeah. yeah. Did you want this to be here? Probably not. But I didn't want any of this. I didn't have any say in any of this none of this was like done to my specifications or anything no you didn't give someone a map of this and then they... but you did Raven. say you wanted uh you wanted to keep just outside water deep and maybe it was built on like a cursed land like ancient burial ground or something did you burial specify ground. like mentions just pops up i think up i said you. make sure it's not cursed i think that was the only thing i said <laughs> <laughs> So maybe it's not cursed. It was just it, it, you're on a can't not, say that burial ground. The land is cursed, not the castle. Yeah, it's below the castle that's cursed. <laughs> if it's below, then we should still be able to get there. Probably, just might be a bigger. Which direction are you going? Which room do you want to go look at next? It's not up to me. I'm not in the front. I'm clearly in the very back. D Dagger's just uh, walking down the hall. Okay, d done. Lantern out. What do you What do you got? Yeah, well, I got well, uh, dark vision. Okay, but I do have a lantern. Which direction are you going, Dagger? Uh, you mean you well, I'll turn left. You're going west or east? Left doesn't tell me that. Well, we'll come down the stairs. There must be a hallway. Yes, there's a hallway. It's just like this. I want to use the same layout, but there's just different rooms. Can you ping where room. we are, Jason? Okay, you've just gone down these stairs. Okay. Oh. And now you're in this room here underneath. And there's, and there's more wine bottles, but it's just all like single bottle storage. Uh, I'm going to slide a hand. No, I'm watching him. I already said, uh, you're waiting an back. eye on this guy you and that guy. The back. I still said I gave him the both the side eye. <laughs> Roll your side hand. No, I don't. Know. I'll go back later when you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hannah to see like what possible things the uh, the the this, the the fire circle could mean, like what it could be. Okay, but right now we're in this room, so stay with me in this room. I know. You you want to make checks about other rooms? A while ago. Yeah. Let's just focus on where we are right okay. now. What are we doing? There's a door in the room. Yeah, yeah there's there's this door right here. Yes, I'll go with that door and I'll okay. make a left. Okay, so you're headed this direction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's no front door here, right? That's solid rock. Okay. And as you enter this room, uh -huh. uh, you see there are uh, six pedestals uh, that look like they are for display. Uh-huh. There's nothing on them, but this looks to be like what would be a trophy room. Just no trophies. Oh, okay. Like for books or for weapons? Uh, like for busts. I could sit Penny up on one of those pedestals. Ha <laughs> ha 
Why isn't uh, why isn't uh, why is her why can't I remember her name? Penny. Why isn't there a bus for Penny? She's not part of the team. She's got her own bus. Um, on the far wall at this door right here, mm -hmm. there uh, instead of that double doors there, there is uh, what looks to be a large tapestry. I'm going to on one of those pedestals. On the pedestal. Yeah. And click it so it doesn't move. Yeah. Okay. Can I give that tapestry a poke with I the spear? I it and put it in the bucket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're way in the back. <laughs> I'll slide in. No, okay. You're way in the back. What did you want to do, uh, Gordy? I heard no, you no. say something. I'll I'm going to poke the tapestry with my spear. See if there's anything behind it. Okay. Do uh, investigation. Yeah. Tears your tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe. Uh, <laughs> 16. Okay. Uh, you expertly cut into the tapestry, and there's something solid behind the tapestry. I look behind the tapestry. It, it makes like, like a, a resonating... A uh, resonating sounds like gulp, and you hear this kind of echo. Like there's There's something behind solid, you. It's solid, but it's not like rock. I'll uh, just pull the tapestry down. Okay, okay. you reveal what looks to be uh, a gonk. Uh, a gonk? A large safe door. Oh, like, it's my room. Like a grand treasury that's been locked up. Is there a lock on it? Uh, there is no visible lock. Mary, I think you need to open this. I didn't it... know how. I think you need your uh, thumbprint. Just use the skin on your thumb. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I will walk up to the door and I'll go with my hands. I picked the skin oh, up with my hands. Oh, 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 I don't do that. I <laughs> red blood across the front of the door. Okay, I'm not touching anything. I'm going to roll Colin. 17. Why are you rolling Colin? Vomit. 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 All right. I don't do that at all. I start to, and I'm like, oh, that really hurt. And I put my finger on the door. Is it open? No, it doesn't open. Red dot there. While they're monkeying around and doing that, I start casting detect magic as a ritual. Okay. Spend ten minutes. I, I look at the tapestry. Is there anything indicated on that? Like, is there symbols or words? You look closely at the tapestry, and it it's like all of these uh, different shades of gray and white and little blue trim 50? and. As you stand back, it just, it looks, you can see the, the image of Mary Doc in his glorious <laughs> farm with his robes billowing. It's just a, a large, uh, a large tapestry and you've cut through the first layer of robes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we can get rid of this tapestry. Uh, that's gonna go in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Up on the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on>. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine needlepoint though it's uh you know it's very good work okay uh is it made of wool so that was which wall was that the double doors to the great right here oh okay so is does it look like there's a handle or anything on this thing i'm gonna inspect Okay, you can give it an inspection. Investigation, I assume? Oh. Um, 13. It, it, you don't see uh, any hinges on the outside of this. It looks like uh, one of those sauce hinges, all fully concealed. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. Oh, very expensive. Very expensive. We could sell those for thousands of dollars. <laughs> if only you could get to them. Oh. <laughs> Only we do what um, Inside yeah, the vault is all those hinges. The very well made. Nobody that door. doesn't work in, uh, in yeah. our industry would know it's like a safe door. They're like just hidden hinges. It definitely is going to contain something that's valuable that 
that you know not just any door where you could pick the lock or pop open the hinges it's is that a metal door is a metal door i could heat this sucker up there mary and we just why would you want to ruin our storage space why don't you just tell it to open i speak friend and enter no 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 friend (laughs) nice you can have inspiration for that. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering that. Um, Someone's watched the Lord of the Rings a few times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> open sesame. Uh, no. Just say open door. Open door. Please and thank you. Alexa, open the door. What <laughs> <laughs> is his name? Timora, in the name of Timora, open. Are are you saying like a prayer, or are you just shouting it out? I just shout in the name of Timora, open. Nope, no, no. You hear the the sound echo off this hollow trophy room. Well, we tried. You're gonna have to go skin this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back up and eat some. Yeah, <laughs> yeah can I can I do an investigation of the door or? Did- that you already do it that. sounds like a parent punishing their child. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you and said that. Yeah, okay. So you inspect uh, for magical. Or... Yeah, I look just look at the pedestals first because that's not creepy at all. Okay, the pedestals just look, they're made of stone. Okay. There's six of them in the room. They what? look ordinary, not magical. What okay. type of stone? I don't know. Did you look at it? Basalt. I have dark vision and I'm looking at it. Like dark vision, marble, granite. It's granite. It's granite. Definitely granite. Okay. Yeah. Um, what kind of granite? Rock hard. High quartz content. Low. Let a mic up. Low. Yeah. Low. Low content. The There's the safe door itself yeah. is color? magical. There's something magical to it. Okay. Uh, you think that uh, it's that keeps it closed. I cast a spell magic on the safe door. Okay. Right. You have to make a roll, and your roll has to beat the level of the spell that's on the door. Okay. Unless it's third level or lower. And do I add my modifier on that, or spell attack? You should say right on your dispel magic. Oh, hang on. Uh... DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Yeah, okay, so that's a plus 5 modifier. Ah, 21. Ooh. Okay. Just roll all my two coins for the night and just line them up. And, and Twenty-one. Yeah. This is what I'm rolling. Then you have to roll for the night. Um, twenty-one. Uh, you cast a spell of magic, yeah. and uh, the then you check with Orlear and say, Orlear, is did that work? And Orlear, who still has the spell ma- or uh, detect magic up, is like, no, no, the the magic's still there. Oh wow! All right. You could try again if you want. Ah, there must be a way to open this without. Elf on the door, just no lock or anything. Doing that. Like combination lock. Wow, Alfred. Maybe. Yeah, it's possible. I think we're wasting time on this door. Yeah, this Why doesn't no? necessarily. <laughs> you guys in puzzles are like, eh, we'll try it again later. It's fine. Hey, Jason. Yeah. My spell was... modifier is plus five, but I'm. Would you say I'm proficient? Because my spell attack is a plus eight, and my modifier is a plus five. Which one would I use for to spell? Well, it's not an attack. 
Spell attack is it's not start of ten. It's eight plus modifier plus proficiency. Yeah, but it's not an attack. It's a. Uh... Okay. 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 You want to go explore different rooms? Yeah. Let's. Uh... Doing all this shit. Let's go the other way. Okay. You go the other way. Someone's stealing all the shit. Um, you head towards uh, under the kitchen area, and you notice that the this is like you see mop, mop bucket, uh, different uh, trays uh, for washing, and like another sink area where uh, you know the dish pit or janitor staff might be. Um, there's a slop chute that comes down in the corner from the upper floor. Uh, you can notice it here on the left in the corner. Here, I'll think. There, there looks like there's a grate that refuse is put down from the upper kitchen down into the uh, cleanup, washing, janitorial. Or kitchen waste stuff. Kitchen waste. Oh, okay. Yeah. What happens? What? what Mary Doc, what do you think happens to all the um, stuff from the latrines here? Why would I know that? That's that lake in the middle. Okay. <laughs> the, also, the, the fire um, the fire pit for the kitchen is stoked here. So you see there's a small wood chopping station and an area where they can add wood to the fire for the grills above. It's a big fire. They're bellowing. They want, yeah, they want to cook for a large. This is the main kitchen. Okay. Is there, there? Let's go over to this door then. I guess over here. I don't know where you're thinking. Right where your mouse was. Right. Close to that. Over right there. here. That's the next way we can go, right? Yes. This, this way. Uh, there is a door that leads into the next room. Mm -hmm. um, it's closed right now. You want to go through it? I'm not in the lead. I'm in the back door. I'll go in. Okay. Um, in this next room, <clears throat> uh, you see what looks to be uh, a training room where they have uh, dummies and hay bales and you know ropes, uh, maybe some weights for some like weight lifting, mm. um, uh, those kinds of implements in this room. Uh, and it's quite a large room. Yeah, you could use this room for uh, like, you can see the, the dining room space. It's this entire dining room space and the, uh, can, I, can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's this large. It's wow. a long open room, but there's no windows. It's all train. All enclosed. So you could like even throw javelins in this room. Like it's a lot like a range. You can shoot arrows. You could have target practice, stuff like that. I don't know if this is are really about strength though. So, did did they steal your shit? No work? No. Shit's still there. I like this group. Um, is there a door at the end of the hallway or something? Like a way to continue? Yep. Okay. Yep, it's another door at the end of the hallway. It's closed. Keep going. <laughs> Just all Nothing it didn't work. We didn't... We got a 21. We didn't go any further on that because we didn't really know what to do. Uh, does anyone have a source of light, or is anyone just relying oh, on yeah, yeah. dark vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you have a lantern. Okay, okay. what are you saying? You have a lantern. I don't know who lantern You're all, he said, oh, I have dark vision. Yeah, I got a hooded lantern. Continuing, this is no windows in no, this No, I room. have a hooded lantern. I'm using a hooded lantern. I think, because, uh, okay. Who's an Irax? Right? An elf, Make right? a perception check. We all have dark vision. I'm a Calistar. star. I don't think I have dark vision. That's the type of elf, isn't it? No, it's just like a human with a spirit. Reception? Oh. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, 23. Okay. 
Uh, you notice that some of the shadows that your lantern is casting as you're moving it around the room mm -hmm. and you move past uh, like a fighting dummy that's just like a scarecrow kind of thing with some sticks that you would just uh, spar at or shoot at. You notice that the, the shadows that are being cast by your hooded lantern, they don't look like regular shadows. They look like they have like wings. They look like they have horns. They look oh. like they have teeth. Okay, and was my detect I'm magic, going to which is still probably going to be ten minutes long. Uh, no, it doesn't detect magic. So, uh, as I if I see one of them, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go. Kunk, and try to sneak attack it. Yeah. Okay. With my dagger. Okay. Uh, you have a venom dagger, don't you? No, I lost it. Oh. I'll let you make your attack, and then we'll all roll for initiative. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I think I know what this is, but I don't know the stats for it. I don't. I have advantage on the attack, and guess what I rolled? Two ones. Two elevens. Oh, four, four, four ones. Not bad. <laughs> hey, you want four ones is better than two ones. Yeah. Yes. So, um... is going to be trickier than I thought it was going to be because I have an idea of what the room looks like but we don't have a map as what that so is. Just let's the it's in the mind. it's so an yeah. empty room, yeah. right? So it, 19 to it is mostly empty but it's not completely empty. There are like I described, different training yeah, dummies some... and ropes and uh, oh, when I cast the tech magic I pulled out a book and actually like read it off the book page and closed it. Ooh. Uh, I thought you did a ritual. Yeah, but I have to call it a book. You're, you're not looking it up from memory. You're reading it off your thing. Okay. So I do... Uh... It was 19 to hit, by the way. 19? You said two 11s. Yeah, plus his modifier. Oh. Well, that's enough. That hits. I do 20, uh, 23 points of damage. Radiant damage? No. Surprising damage. damage. Surprising damage. You have a magic weapon? No. Hmm. What? Well, that wasn't a magic weapon. That was just a dagger. Okay, 23? Yeah. Writing this down. Well, my detect magic didn't pick up anything on the dummies. Like, it doesn't detect creatures. Yeah. And it only detects if something's like. But it would have detected if it were like an illusionary. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, as you strike, the the dagger kind of goes through this shadow, and it shrieks, and kind of jumps back a little bit, uh, giving away its position. Mm -hmm. Um, and everyone can roll initiative. We'll kind of uh, give you a, a description of the room. You guys can kind of say where you were in the room at the time. The dagger's out front. Mm -hmm. I'm in the back. Yes, you are probably, by the door. I probably would have been walking in front of Mary. Okay, you're the shield. I'll be in front of you. You're the shield shield. Yeah. <laughs> I have good PC. Okay. So we're oh, in, we're in oh, a room tonight, man. I'll, I'll be near the front. Got a twenty-seven initiative. We're wow. in a room that is that uh, we're in a room that is about forty feet wide. By oh yeah yeah, by oh yeah yeah, or you I'd say one hundred and twenty feet long. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if you want to practice your 120 foot spells, you can do that yeah. in here. Yeah, that's the magic number. Yeah. Uh, we're initiative tracker. Here we go. It's an entire room of Elvis. I cast blast. fireball and like all the roofing and everything. That's an entire line board. of lightning bolts. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like though, like it's just what is the roof made of? Like, right. what, what is the, the tiling? Like the, the 
roof situation up here. <laughs> What's oh. the roof? How high is the ceiling? No, I mean like if What's it's it made of? Is it stone? It's stone. It's stone. Okay, good. Because like casting lightning bolt or something in a, a room where it has like wood ceiling, no, Ooh, probably. Um, I just clicked add, and then all of the things came up. Mm -hmm. So I don't need dagger here. We have a dagger there, and dagger got twenty-seven. Yep. Okay. Uh, Varn, what'd you get? I got a 14. 14. We have to hit enter after each of those. It, uh -huh. might, it might not save if you don't do that. Okay. Wait, yeah, okay, save. those two did save. Yeah. Okay. Earlier? Uh, I got uh, 21. I know. Mary? 17. Uh, 16. Sixteen. Nyrex. Seventeen. Nyrex stayed the same. Calder. Not is here. not here. Penny not here. Why is Penny? Yeah. She's sick still. Yeah, she's on fire. Um. Getting that druidic mess out of her. Is this the? She got farm wood. Thorn, but thorn yes. witch or thorn witch? What did you say? Okay, did I get everyone? I call their penny. We'll just add in. You know, barn. Yeah, we got barn. Barn the fourteen, right? Yeah, it's pretty good initiative overall. Okay. Yeah. You know, this thing got like a a, a thirty or whatever. For me to get ahead. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, there's a 14 behind that, whatever that is. Hmm? 14. Jesus. What? Nothing, it's okay. He probably just labeled like, 1 and 14. Like, that's just... Oh, clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Would I do something like that? Yes. <laughs> I hope. Did you say dozens? Dozens, you say. Okay, so. Oh, my God. Um, you definitely have initiative on this one, I'd say. Um, not just all in order, right? Right, descending. There we go. Okay, so, Dagger, uh, that was your sneak attack. Mm hmm. So now we'll start at the top of the order with dagger again. Do it again. Do it again. Drop the dagger and whip out the whip, and we're in the dungeon, baby. <laughs> Isn't old, that technical? Going old school. <laughs> Is now. <laughs> wow, that's a tough choice. I should use the cool magic gathering. As a 18 hit? Yes. And uh, it takes seven points of lightning damage. Seventeen points of uh, flashing damage, I guess, with the sneak. Okay, uh, you see, as the as the whip as the whip strikes, and the electrical charge zaps down the end of the whip, mm -hmm. it seems to go at the end. You know, normally that whip, that electrical charge scatters all across the body. In this case, that electrical damage looks like it just goes out right at the end of the whip. Just and then it slashes into uh, the shadow and the shadow goes. Okay. 
The shadow recoils a little bit. It recoils a little bit. And then it'll just okay. And then um, one fourteen. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see back to earlier. Your lightning bolt's not going to do squat in here. Okay. So you have movement you want to do. You're the first one in the room. Uh -huh. you just near the mind here. So where you, am I? You're located. probably like 60 feet into the room. That's feet? 120 feet long. So you're, so you're halfway through the room. You could run forward. The worst possible spot of the room. Well, all your party is behind you, and there's six of you. Yeah. And how far? We walk five feet apart. <laughs> Unless you're all bunched together. Well, we're walking in a line. Yeah. So uh, immediately come off of the line. <laughs> I know better. Use your reaction yeah. to shift to the other side. I will no, move. I'll use my reaction for that. Well, show me on the map where we are. Are we like here? We're like here. He's not using the map. Here's the map. Here's the door you came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. like, this and is you the walk whole room. About here. And you're like, right? That's yeah, it. yeah. And the room ends here. There's another door that exits, but the door's closed right now. So uh -huh. you could run towards that door. You don't know whether you can get through it or not. No, uh, I'm just going to. Uh, uh, Flash my lantern back and forth and stay where I am. Okay. You flash your lantern back and forth. Yeah. And just with like a just a glance perception check, yeah. as you're just flashing, just you see there's more shadows in this room. Yeah. You're, th this one shadow that you've attacked is not the only shadow in the room. Uh huh. With just a quick glance, you can't tell how many there are, but you can tell that there's more there's at than least one. between one and, four and fourteen. Do you think his torch goes out when he's whipping it around like that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just close the door. <laughs> I'm whipping it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Literally. Dagger. Oh, Sorry, Dagger. We're just gonna close this door. <laughs> we don't want to go in there. Are you gonna hear? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, you whip that that lantern around, and as you turn, there's still one right here, okay. and it's gonna attack at you. Oh, we had such good initiative. Mm. Yes, well, back up, guys. They got 14 tries. <laughs> This did me pretty good. Okay, so stay in the location. To, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Making attack on me. Making a claw attack. Okay, I'm going to use. Claws. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. I'm going to use parry. Uh, for, for parry. For when fighter. a creature you can see. Uh, parry. When another creature. Damages you with a melee attack, you can use your action to expand one superior dice to reduce an element. Mm -hmm. When a creature can lose reach of you, did I see him move into reach? Harry is a reaction after you no, take I damage. Have, he has another. I have brace. Oh, okay. Uh, when a creature you can see moves into the reach, into the reach you have with a melee weapon you're wielding, you can use your reaction to expand one superiority dice to make one attack against the creature. Using the weapon, if the attack hits, add the superiority dice to okay. the damage. This creature would have been considered hidden. Okay. So you wouldn't have seen them until they attacked you. Okay. Okay, so the attack is what I was at. Uh, 14. Does a 14 hit? 
No. Second attack. That's way less. That's a six. That doesn't hit either. Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, or Lear's turn. You've seen you so one the shadow that one that out. dagger stabbed at, yeah. and it hasn't moved. Yeah. It, it, uh, it gave away its position, so it's yeah. not hidden, yeah. but it's there beside dagger. Yeah. And then dagger turns around, yeah. and there's another one in front of him yeah. that attacked him but didn't hit. Mm-hmm. Dagger says, do that glowy thing you do. Uh, oh, that's a double-edged sword, sir. <laughs> oh, that don't, hurts everyone. Don't do it till I'm, I'm the fucking ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're protecting me right now. Don't do that thing. Well, crisp up your skin. You won't be bleeding anymore. <laughs> It'll cauterize you. no skin. Yeah. Uh, you'll you'll be like a freshly just, baked meat pie. I won't He's get any his yellow turns. human fat. What? No, oh, he's all muscle. Um, oh yeah. The one the one that attacked dagger. Yeah. That's that twelve strength for um, you. After missing dagger. Yeah. All muscle. Just imagining like so he so he kind of yeah back into the shadows. Again. Okay. So oh, the what? one that has given its weight position, I'll like hold up my hand oh, and it. my eyes will flare up and I'll cast uh, Sacred Flame yeah, at it. So it needs to make a deck save. Right. Oh, I fail. Okay, that is... Save is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Everybody thinks it's flame damage. It's flame damage. That is... Oh my goodness, 15 radiant damage. Oof. Okay. Eight Owie. and a seven. Oh, that's a good roll. Okay, he shrieks back. And it's radiant damage. Descends upon him. Okay, guys. I hear the damage. Yeah. Um, he looks like he's taken more damage than normal. Mm. Nice. That's what you wanted to hear, right? Yes, he shrieks back, but not just like a little bit. He like steps back. Yeah. Uh, and is not hiding. He's in plain sight. Yeah. Kind of the edges of him are not fairy fire, but they are like a glow with the burning of radiant light. Uh, yeah. Is Roth and Tina. Tina. Yeah, that's good. I just he forgot his parents' his name. Parents name. Just no big one. <laughs> hey, fifty percent is still okay. <laughs> um, that's my action. Uh, I don't know you and hormones for today. my bonus action. His birthday was like three weeks ago. Yeah, I keep Your mom's in the 31st. Don't forget that. Put it in your phone. Put it in your phone. Oh, I should have Facebook. I don't go on Facebook. Put it in your Google Calendar. Twin. That's I what I do. I could have twin casted that way. I'll, I'll learn that for next time. Okay, okay. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nyrix, you're up. I still up. have like, kind of like huh. a dagger up in here casting the light. Because, like, there's lots of bright light around us. No shadows. Uh, do I see any uh, shadows between me and the door we just came in? And how far away from the door am I? You're probably right behind Dagger in the order. Yeah. So, so the shadow that Dagger attacked and the shadow that O'Lear just attacked is probably 10 feet from you. Okay. I want to back up towards the door we came in. Do I see any shadows that way? If you're non-dark vision, just with Orlear's light? Orlear's light, yeah. Uh, Okay. Orlear's light guides you. Yes, make a perception check. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, That's a 27. 
Okay. Um, with a 27, you see one kind of hanging over the door frame directly above where Mary is standing. Oh. But you see him. Um, You're not sure his turn in initiative, but he is right. He's like ready to drop down on, or on Mary's head. And you see him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast third level Moonbeam. On, on top, Mary. On top no, of Mary? No, I'm going to cast it directly in front of Mary. And hopefully he backs out of the room. And I'll yell at him, get out of the room. There's one above the door. If you cast it where I am, I don't have a choice. No, no. We're, we're, saying, that, we're saying that Mary is in the room. So you're casting it behind Mary, who's the No, no, person. I'm casting it in front of him, so he can't enter okay. the room any further. Okay. If you cast it in front, you're not going to get him. Or the shadow. Or the shadow. But no, I don't want to get Orlear, so... Uh, no, it's like it's right way, above... Yeah, it's right above, right above... Space, Mary, yeah. Orlear. So I, I, can't get, I can't get this guy without getting Mary. Could you thread... Can he thread the needle between Mary and the door? But I don't know. That's a you question. Mm -hmm. You could cast it higher in the room. I believe you. That doesn't necessarily go to the floor, right? It's a shaft. That it's a forty-foot tall shaft, though, so he'd have to be able to see like right. thirty so, feet in the air. Or something. Yeah, it's a light shines down in a five-foot radius, forty-foot high cylinder, centered on a point okay. within range. Centered on a point within range. So as long as he can see 25 he feet above me. Like, he could cast it like in the door frame and just like... Goes 40 feet up. I'd say that the room itself is probably 15 foot ceilings here. But not 20 feet ceilings. So if so, I cast it at 7 feet high, or 8 feet high, and it just goes straight 40 feet straight up? Isn't it centered on a point, so it's like it goes up and yeah, down? Yeah, it goes up and yeah. down. You have to see the center point. Oh, like, I see what you're saying. Centered on a point. I th well, it says a cylinder centered on a point, yes. so I would think the, yeah. the circle would be the it's center. It's not the center of the point. It's like here, and then it goes up 40 feet. Yeah. Yeah. In that image of... That makes more sense than the, the center of the cylinder. Is, have a cylinder. So how far down below the first floor are we? You're hoping to hit that ghost above us? Yeah. Well, <laughs> just got spike out and start digging. You killed me basically with this thing. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying based on where where he that. is and where Mary is, on um, this turn you can't I'm hit bold, him. But I take double unless, damage from everything. I'm just looking at the I casting of a, so nope, I could never of a cylinder. It. Nobody's no. been damaged by these things yet, right? Because um, no, when it says picture. centered on a point. It could mean the yeah. bottom circle of the cylinder. Yeah, I I, it wouldn't make sense for the well, middle of the cylinder. They're real because he would have known assume, they were an illusion. Yes, I would so, assume it's always the top. This point that you cast is at the bottom of the yeah. cylinder. Yeah. So that works. You could cast yeah. the point two two feet the, above Mary's head. Bottom of the cylinder is two feet above Mary's head. Yeah. And then the cylinder continues up. Yeah. But it will continue. For 40 feet the, above, all the way through the first floor and the second floor, and whoever knows how long. We might need on. to hire a new butler. You might. You might have to hire a new if butler. He steps into the circle of light that's randomly penetrating the floor. <laughs> that yes. would be in the dining room. Well, I mean, it can be quite deceptive. <laughs> if Nobody's yeah, dumb enough to walk into the uh, point of light. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it's a look, light uh, shining on a chair. You're it like, looks like a moonbeam. It looks me. like. It looks like a spotlight. No, Maybe he's a star. Spotlight on the floor of a stage. I don't walk towards the spotlight. I go like, "Why is there a random light on the stage?" It depends if you're. And a I'm bard. like, and I'm like, yeah. this, and I'm like, if you're a bard and you see a spotlight, you're going straight there. Yeah. I don't know, Dagger. Would you do that? <laughs> okay, so we've figured out you can cast the spell. Are you going to cast it above Mary's head? That's what's happening. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta roll a save for that guy. Uh, uh, so when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time, on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed. So on its turn, it's gonna take damage. Right. 
Okay. And I believe it's its turn next. Let's just... I haven't put him in initiative yet because I didn't want you guys to know where's all the initiatives. Mm -hmm. And this is the fun part. Number 23. I run out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> It's it looks initiative. like Timora, Moonbeam from Timora is going right above it's your head. Initiative there. is 16, so what's your dexterity modifier? Uh, I have plus one to initiative. Uh, so, so, yeah, so probably it goes to 12. Tax. So he beats you. Yeah, I have a 12. So we'll have, you can't really put him at six and a half, can you? Yes, can. Absolutely. Yeah, really? Yeah. It's number. point five. Okay, we're adding him at 16 and a half. Let's see if that works. Did it. There you go. Okay, so Shadow 2 is going to take damage right uh, now. So a con save. The con save. Ooh. Those dice are being favorable to you tonight. Uh, that is a six for his con save. So that's a fail. He's going to take 3d10 radiant. Ooh. This is going to hurt spicy. him. That's spicy. Uh, is he a shapeshifter at all? Because then that's. Crazy. Yeah. Then it's like uh, even more. Um, I think it's made just a disadvantage wanna... anyway, actually ask that question yes but, you want to ask the question to but see if, if i a, roll if it's a shapeshifter and it's in one if it's not king uh, a shape he's already, already good. a shapeshifter makes his saving throw with disadvantage right so he already rolled his six all i need yeah okay so here comes the uh, the damage <laughs> oh good I rolls the appropriate question. He's not a shapeshifter, but all the rest of them are. So, 20 points of radiant damage. Aye, aye. Okay. That's, that's a great roll. And if it has vulnerability, that's 40. Right. Okay. And as uh, the moonbeam is it encapsulates him, he starts to like shimmer and twinkle with the burning radiant damage. Again, it not fairy in. fire, not fairy fire, but still like burning. It sparkles all over its shadowy form with, you know, like I was describing horns and teeth and wings and claws. If it's also a shape changer, it instantly reverts back to its original form. Well, you'll see. Okay, I'm just. Yeah, it's going to like a headbanger covered in glitter. Okay, so it is. Uh, <laughs> okay. It is. Uh, it's going to drop down. Boom. It's going to drop down on Mary. It's going to make one attack against you with its talons. And rip off the rest of your skin. I don't have any. That is. Uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Mm -hmm. What? I'm not fucking cleric. I don't, I don't have, have shield. Kind of I'm not the kind of that shield. Okay. <laughs> Multi class. <laughs> Why don't you? I should now. Or into an artifice. artifice I'll be making fun. a new character here. Uh, that is. <laughs> 10 points. My face on 10 it. points of. <laughs> so 20 points of damage. 10 points of psychic damage. You have to share it with uh, Timora, though, because you have her breasts. I take double damage, so that's 20 damage. Mm -hmm. And I lose my turn. Um, you are prone because it dropped down on top of you. <laughs> You're prone. Okay. It didn't 
prone and then attack you. It's like an attack all as one, drops on you, you're prone. Good. Then it's gonna swing at who's in front of Mary. Right here. You're you're in front of him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were in front of him. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna swipe its second sure, attack yeah. at you. That's great. You should do that. Okay. It should attack me. I'm stunned though. So it has it, advantage. It should, but I'm saying it's like in a in a drop down and a talent attack as it drops and then Come swipe on. attack. Please hit. I know you want me to hit. That's not gonna help you. I know, I know. Um, I've got uh, 10 to hit. <laughs> yeah, the one time he wants to go over. Your fault, your AC is too high. Can you like move in front of his attack? <laughs> I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta roll better. Maybe I should use my advantage on that roll. Or no, my inspiration. Remember, I had DM inspiration. <laughs> what? We vetoed that. I vetoed whatever he said about you getting inspiration. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, that's Shadow 2. Mary, it's your turn. You're prone, and it's done. this thing is right in front of you, between you and earlier. You've got flanking on you. I'm stunned. Sure. I can't do anything. My turn's over. You say anything to your party, or you can't. I can't speak. Can't I'm stunned. Ooh. Maybe you can talk like I talk. I'm stunned. Yeah. I'm incapacitated. <laughs> okay. Attacks against me have advantage, and Dex and strength saves are automatic failures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> That's why I was in the back, and I take double damage. Yeah, I did. I was trying to kill him. Couldn't quite do it. Okay. Um, after Mary, there's another shadow. Four, six. I was going to turn on dead. It was going to be fucking sweet. Oh. You just might. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, now I'm going to turn on dead. I was going to use <laughs> yeah. 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 and turn on dead. <laughs> Correct. You that are correct. Hilarious. You turned undead. How did you know? Are you psychic? Uh, how hurt? Uh, how hurt are you looking? Well, right I now? wasn't full before this. Hit points. But how much of your flesh is uh, not flesh? Yeah, it's muscle has been torn. You should be lots, lots of it. Lots of it. I'm pretty sturdy. I can take. Yes. I can okay. take hits. I just take half as many hits now. Mm. Okay. This one, I don't have anything radiant damage, so. So shoot it anyway. They bleed diamonds. I also, um, who's do they bleed? This one is going to come from across the room from over here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to. So I assume like Dagger and Nyrax are kind of in the front, kind of. Anything moves. Yeah, Dagger and Nyrax are in front. 10 feet of me. Yeah. I'm just gonna swipe at it. Yeah. Okay. This one's gonna move at Nyrex. I wouldn't say that it gets within ten feet of you, because you're still five feet from Nyrex. Yeah. But you could move up to it on your turn. Okay. So Nyrex, this one comes up on your left. Okay. Uh, it's in the center of the room, and you're like more against the wall. Yeah. And it's going to make uh, two attacks against you. That is uh, 15. Miss. 15 hits. Miss. Okay, 15 misses. The other one's less. So sure. two misses against you. Oof, oof. And uh, then it's going to hide in the shadows. It can hide as a bonus action. So it makes two swipes. And then just kind of disapparates back into the shadows. Okay. Uh, that is now Varn's turn. Okay. So there are three in the room, right? That we don't see so far. And yeah, one's on top of Mary. There is something to make light or anything. There I, is. I have fairy fire, but I have scorching ray, which also makes light, just in a very different way. There is two that are visible right now. One that took a lot of damage is beside you, uh, Dagger. 
and one that took also a lot of damage, just moonbeam damage, that is between Orlear and Mary. And I'm right next to them. So you're I'm, in front, you're in front of, of him. Yeah. yeah. So you could step to the side and then you have. Hmm. I'm going to step to the side, step backwards, and yeah. I'm going to cast Scorching Ray at third level. So four beams, two on each. Okay. As you move away, as you step away, you leave the threat range of a hidden shadow. It's going to attack you before you make your. Oh, attack. fuck off. Now I'm going to put them all on you, you shadow. You, you can do that if you want, but. He gets to make his uh, reaction attack on you. Okay. That is 16 to hit. 16 when you hit. Okay. So he makes his swing, and he's exposed himself, and he's basically now standing where you, where you walked away from. He's now in that spot. So he's right in front of you. Mm-hmm. And you've now stepped out of the line. Mm-hmm. When you can shoot at the new guy, or you can shoot at. I'm going to still shoot at the ones already. Uh, You're going to go yeah. two and two. Two and two. Because disadvantage if you shoot the one right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Plus, if I get the one from if you guys, a, you can go If it's a ranged one. attack, and it's, it's right in, And you have range. someone right beside you, it's disadvantage whether you're shooting at it or not. Ranged attack is if anyone is standing next to you. I'm already doing this. Is it a ranged spell attack? Yes, yes it is. It is. So then it's I thought range is if they're prone is disadvantage. No, uh, no there's oh, it's different ways to. Uh, so this would be a plus seven to hit. I have to so, roll it four times. So the thing is, though, because he made a reaction, he's beside you, but you could take another step further away Yeah. and then have no disadvantage. Yeah, because yeah, he I, used I, his reaction I'm gonna, already. I'm going to walk as far back as I can. Right. But, like... Well, you're walking... You're going to the, like, to the side. So yeah. the sidewall was here. He moved away from the sidewall to get an angle at these other two. So you're moving more to the center of the room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, it, it, there two things. I, I, I'm just firing at these two because if I kill them, then we won't have to deal with as many. And, yeah. Okay, so but roll also, two at one and then roll two more separately at the other one. Don't roll all four at once. Roll two two. Okay, so... Which one is this going towards? This would be going towards the one that uh, fucked over Mariadoc. Okay. Uh, so, does a 17 hit? Yes. And does an 18 plus 7, so that would be a... Yeah, so yeah. more hits. More yes. hits, yes. So I'm just going to grab, you know, two, two more d6. Eight. eight. All together, this is... Five plus two, that's ten... Twelve, because I also have. I'm getting out of my gun. I do an extra D8 for each. Uh, that is twelve, fourteen, twenty-one fire damage. Twenty-one fire. Yep. Okay. Since it's two uh, uh, scorching rays, uh, entangled. Okay. okay. So you said twenty-one. Yep. Okay. You can see that the fire seems to just like impact on the surface. Yeah, I had a feeling we were gonna just do that. Okay. How how badly it burns him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it burns him a little bit. And I want to fi- uh, fire at the other guy, obviously. Or can I? No, I already said that I was firing at the other guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a ten wouldn't hit, would it? No. But a seventeen would. Yes. Nice. So Reefy. five plus two and uh, oh wait I forgot about the modifier. Uh, but five plus two, so uh, yeah that's seven. That would be eleven damage with the modifier. The other one would have taken four more damage. I forgot about that. So okay. Twenty-five. So twenty. Yeah. Okay. I'm a mess. I shit myself. I know if I did the uh, very far, you would have been paying for dad, but. No, it's just, it's in the AOE, so you would catch it and we don't know is there. But I could also catch my friends. Sure, somewhere we're not. Okay, so. I want to send myself and my friends here. Now we're at uh, Shadow 14. 
Right? Shadow 14? Sure. You're going to move some more? Or you're going to go before yeah. Shadow 14? No. No. Shadow 14 is better than Shadow 14 me. lost initiative. He's at the very end. Um, or gained initiative, so he knows exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> at the end, he knows exactly what's all happening. Right. That'd be the king. Isn't in D and D though? Well, technically, everything's happening at once. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you're done your turn. We're moving on to Shadow Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Shadow Fourteen is the one that you attacked originally. Mm -hmm. That is still right beside you. You haven't disengaged or moved away nope. or anything. You're right there. No. Nope. Okay. And everybody has kind of shot at him, but you're standing right next to him. He's going to swing at you. And it wouldn't be flanking. It's just two. There's still two on this dagger, but not across from each other. You know, one backed away, so it wouldn't be within right. five feet. Right, 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 right. So that is a uh, 15 to hit. That missed his, okay. And a uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Okay, and I'll parry that. My now, after you take damage, you will. That is 10 points of psychic damage. Yeah. Wow, that really hot there. there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna take one. Minus, 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 minus. Okay, up next. Three through 13. Yeah, I guess that'd be the easiest way to do it, right? <laughs> Is it 11? Yeah. And uh, Shadow 10 uh, he hasn't revealed himself yet. So, so this would be sneak attack because he's coming out of the shadow. Got it rolls. Stealth. Well, I rolled their stealth. None of your passive perceptions. Not even that one. Um, I'm stunned. I can't see. Anything. I have a passive of eighteen. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't beat any of your passives. Didn't beat them going into the room, and then combat started. So we're now in combat. Sure. Yeah. Must have really good stuff. They are shadows. Mm -hmm. They have shadows. Have shadow a, stealth. Have it's a twenty-four right here. passive. Yeah. The shadows are shadow demons. Yeah, I believe they're invisible. Okay. They're going to make another attack at Dagger. And that is a 15, which doesn't hit, and a 25, which is a crit. Cool. You have a dice that goes up to 25. Yeah. Well, now 25. Now we know they have a plus five modifier. Yeah. Ready for this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Another superiority. No, that's a reaction. Um, but I can use um evasion. Sure. You're gonna need it. You're gonna use I'm evasion for the Oh! Rogability that cuts the damage in half. He attacks. Uh, Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. He attacks. You can't. When an attacker that you can see oh, hits you with an attack. I can't use Uncanny dodge. No. And when he, when he attacks from shadow, yeah, he gets. Uh, he gets a, a bigger die roll for his damage. Uh huh. 
I rolled a 30 for psychic damage. Oh, holy shit. What did it hit me? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> one-shot you. <laughs> Maybe oh. close. Because because he came from I am out of a hidden position. Bloodied. <laughs> bloodied. This ain't 4E, boy. We don't bloodied. I am bloodied. Get to me and I can heal you. <laughs> no, I have exactly half my hit <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, we didn't put him in descending order, so we put him here. That was in, a, in fourth edition. The DM was required to tell you. Oh, okay, I didn't think you played for it. I played for it. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. For about a year. Yeah. <laughs> was it fun? Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Everybody it's still fun. It's still Everybody was a wizard. Okay, Dagger, your turn. You've got one to your left, one to your right, one that's just stepped back behind you. Whatever is that bonus action. Uh, this guy, he can. I've he already used use, my reaction. I know you He have. didn't use his uh, bonus action, so he's poofed. So if there's only poofed. still there's only still two that are visible. Yeah, one's, one's in front of Mary, and one's just mm-hmm. to the left of Dagger. Okay, I'm going to cunning action disengage. Okay, move over to Mary. Now you run back to him. He's stunned. Mary. Okay, I'm gonna pick up Mary and throw him over my shoulder and run out the door. <laughs> hey, I drool a little. When you get you to just... him, when you get to him, yeah. After you pick him up, you're moving at half speed. You can. I use my feline agility to move. Forward. Okay, but if you disengage as your bonus action, can you use your feline agility? It's not a uh, reaction. It's a, it's a trait. Okay, so then you can, trait, right? you can use your movement, which is how many feet? Uh, many uh, feet. 40 feet. I think you're 40. Okay, I think it's 40, which means if you double it, it's 80. So it's 60 feet to Mary, and then you're 10 feet out the door. Okay. Okay? So you can carry him out the door and around the corner. That's as far as you can get. Okay. Then I'm going to slump him up against the wall. Some some of his muscle starts to slough off. Because he's got no skin to protect it. So, like, when he gets his skin back, he won't have his full range of motion? I go, no. I go, yeah. <laughs> it comes off a little bit. It's all on your fur. Oh. 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 Yeah. 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 And I got yeah. fur I got yeah. fur all yeah. sticking yeah. out. You're going to be like an orange cat. At the end you have of to us. give yourself a bath later, Dagger. Lick oh. that off. You're going to roll in shit because okay. it might be cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your turn? Get that smell off me. <laughs> I'm not going to press a digitate you. I don't want to touch that. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, shadow one. You have to get me sickle out of here. Shadow one was hiding. He's going to come out of hiding and attack Nyrex. Okay. Okay, you hear? Yeah. That is 16 to hit. Miss. Okay, now he's going to make a second attack. That is a 17 to hit. That just hits. Okay. That's 15 points of damage. Are you... And it's psychic damage. I got to do a con save for my spell. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, the uh, moonbeam goes down. Just one action. Just one turn. turn. Okay, the moonbeam. Jason's not that psychopathic. Yeah. I think he is. Maybe. Uh, That's (laughs) his turn. He's going to go back into shadow again. Mm -hmm. Or Lear's turn. 
So how far you went ten feet back into the room? No, I'm out of the room. You're He's out of the room and then the ten room. feet into the room behind me. Yes, yeah. back into the janitor room. So I've got there's like what? And around the corner. So he's like, and slumped him up against the wall. Oh. That's what he said. Okay. Not like the line of sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to stay out of the... Out trying of to the give shadows. Mary cover. Uh, it, I'll sidestep five feet so I can kind of get like kitty corner so I can see like Mary's foot or something hanging out. If you want to go heal him, you have to run out of the room. I just need to see him. Let's see him. Okay, I'll spend 15 feet of movement. I'll walk back to the edge so I can see Mary. Okay. Because you're, you're 15 feet yeah. in the room? Apparently. Well, I don't know. How far in the room were you? I was five feet in front of Right. Mary. You, were, you were the very first person. Yeah. So, then so if you can spend 15. 15 feet and you can see him. Yeah. Or you can five more feet and you can touch him. Because he's you ten feet out of the room. You don't want to touch him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as a bonus <laughs> action, my eyes will light up, and I'll use four charges of healing light. Jesus. And you will get eleven points of hit points back as my bonus action. Four hit points. Okay, I need to know something earlier. Yeah. Where's Seth right now? I don't know actually. With Penny, I would assume I would have left him upstairs, knowing that we were going down to something bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So maybe he's spending time with Calder. Okay. At the door. No. <laughs> no. I met this guy yesterday. He can yeah. help my kid. <laughs> <laughs> he can help fix the door. Could be with the he looks like, a, well, yeah. looks like a. Yeah. Looks like a good guy. Playing. You'd hey. be playing in shit again. I don't know. Um, <laughs> would you just roll that die for me? I don't want to roll <laughs> die. your stinky die. Sixteen. Okay, that's a good roll. Mine, <laughs> yours. No, nope, that's mine. Okay, I don't like that die. <laughs> I know it has these chaos edges to it. <laughs> it likes uh, to put some rubber pants on earlier. Gum boots. Not my good pants. <laughs> um, <laughs> for my action. I will cast Sacred Flame again at the one in the front. No. Um, you your intervals on. Yeah. Casting Sacred Flame yeah. at the one, the, the one you first hit. Close to me, yeah. The one that you first hit, or the one that fell onto Mary. The one that fell onto Mary. Okay, that's Shadow Two. Sure. On our initiative. So. Okay. They could flame it action. It's a deck save. All right. That's... Deck save it up. That is a fail. Okay, that's uh, 11 points of being damage that descends upon it. Okay. That is. Oh, in that, he would have made, he could have made an opportunity attack while I walked away from him. He could have. Yeah, because I walked away from him. That might change my action. That shadow too? Yes. Okay, so let's have him do his off attack first. Yeah. Brit. You can yeah. see it if you want. No, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't believe it. That hurts. Don't worry. Oh god. I can see it. Yeah, here you want to see it? Use the healing on yourself yeah. instead of me. I already did that first. <laughs> I can turn it to twenty and show you. Yeah. yeah, I can do the same thing. <laughs> I know. That's why. Okay, you ready to take your damage? Yep, sure. I'm. I'm a healthy sorcerer. It's okay. Okay. You I'm were kidding. a healthy sorcerer. Twenty. Or twenty points of damage. Good. Uh, I will cast. <laughs> what do you get when you get a crit? Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, psychic uh, damage. Yep, yeah, I will cast. When he hits me, I will effectively throw my hand back and cast uh, Radiant Rebuke at it. Okay. Uh, so he, he needs to make on the damage. Deck save. Yeah. That is a 14. He fails. 
That is 14 points of radiant damage. 14. Yeah. 14 is the exact amount you need to kill him. Therefore, you don't have to do your 22 points of whatever you're going to. 11 points of. Which would have been 22 because it's radiant. So that saves maybe an action. Yeah, it saves my action, which is kind of handy. Okay. Uh, now you can drink a beer with your action. <laughs> Hold my beer. Um, the other one? Yep, there's another one there. You want to turn and fire. Sure, I'll cast the other Sacred Flame at the one that's kind of by, used to be by Dagger. The right. first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want, we can just no, use no, that. Sure, we'll just use the that, damage yeah. on that Absolutely. guy. Because uh, yeah. basically, they were at about the same hit point level. Sure, yeah. And you just attacked it, and we just rolled it ahead of time. Yeah. And so, whatever. That mm-hmm. takes out both Shadow 14 and Shadow 2. Or, oh, yeah. Back in into, one turn, I'll that's I'll boom, boom. Back into the room, and it'll be kind of like. I'll have a couple claw marks on me, and then like the radiant light will be poking out. Because you took the damage. damage. Nice. I like it. Okay, so <laughs> I will take Shadow 14 and Shadow 2 out of initiative, so we don't have to mess with them anymore, right? And that was for Lear's turn, so yeah. now it's Nyrex. Nyrex. Nyrax will take the dash oh, action and run out of the room. Take the what? The dash action and run out of the room. It's engage. Yeah. I Even can't get the... out of the room then. I'll take the hit. If there is one. Um, yeah, if you just run, if you just dash and don't disengage, you're going to take at least, you're going to take at least one. Yep. I'll take that. Uh, they'll get their sneak attack next time because they can. Different initiative. If they if if they hide, they have to. Use, oh, the hide. Or they use bonus the bonus action. action to hide. So if they use their reaction, they're exposed. Yeah. So you're right. And I got to remember where you guys are. I did walk back into the room just yep. so everybody's clear. You're in the doorway. <laughs> no, I'll walk like. Probably worse than here. Back, so like, <laughs> I was just wondering, the like gone. Moon, moon is not oh, yeah, there. Moon, moon, moon was. Natural, yes. Okay, so Nyrex, you're gonna take two reaction attacks. 140 calories. As you run, died yet? Right? As you run past? No, no, I'm dying yet. Right now, I killed two. You killed two. Killed this doesn't two. say so. The one that attacks Harry and the one that attacks no. Dagger initially. Okay. That's a 19 so, to hit. So one probably does on the no, box. And a 15 to hit. Does not hit that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A white shape of you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it good? Yep. I like that. I still like that peanut butter stuff. That's, oh, that's. That's. that's, that's I haven't had 16 that. 16 points time. of psychic damage. You can always drink no alcohol here. From one hit. I tried finding okay. some because my brother in law was telling me this one was really good. And I went to a few liquor stores and didn't find it. Is there anything else you want to do on your dash turn? Uh, I I don't um, no, because I want to cast the spell after my next turn. So am I on the hallway now? <laughs> You've now left the room. Uh, you probably have five feet left of movement. I'll just take five feet step out of the doorway or out of the door frame. To the side? <laughs> to the side. Okay, so you're you got the doorway and then you got Nyrex. And then you got Mary. Yeah. You're, the, Mary and Nyrex are outside the door, just around the corner. And Mary is not prone. He's upright, but he's kind of leaning against the wall. He's not in good shape right now. And you, you maybe shake him out of his stupor. You say something to him. Mary, get yourself together. I know you're falling apart, but you got to get yourself together. And yours now your turn in initiative. You're not stunned anymore. And you're up. And Nyrex is talking to you. 
what uh, now? What's going Come on? Come on, Mary. We need you. Get um, in the fight. Get in the game. How far away from the door are the guys? The shadows. I'll, I'll walk to the door. Okay, so you walk ten feet to the door. Yeah. And you can see that uh, five feet in the room is uh, Ordlier. And five feet beyond him, there's a shadow that uh, swiped at Nyrex as he was leaving. And then 10 feet beyond that, there's another shadow that swiped at Nyrex as he was leaving. Okay, then I will channel divinity because they're both within 30 feet of me. Are they considered undead? I don't know. The, the shadows themselves are, but if, if they're if this undead. Is a shadow demon, it doesn't then, matter. Yeah. You haven't detected that yet. I'm using the thing, they look like they're undead. Okay. I don't know if they are or not. Okay. We did get possessed in this place. Uh, yeah. Every undead that can see or hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw or be turned for one minute. So you don't have to see them, do you? I don't have destroy undead. But but if you if you don't have to see them to cast a spell, so. No, they have to see me. They yeah, have to so make they're... two wisdom saves. Uh. What's the DC on that again? But there might be other ones in the room that have to do a save, too. Yeah, if there's any within 30 feet of me. I know that there's two. It is it is my spell save, DC, which is 17. Okay, you cast the spell, and uh, these shadows, uh, their eyes light up red, and they they look over at you. And they run away. No, oh, you can see the hellfire in their eyes. Okay. Does that reveal all of their positions? These two are exposed. Okay. These two, when they reaction attack Nyrex, they come out of hiding, and now they're they can't bonus action hide again. They have to use a reaction attack. Okay, so then there's two exposed right now. Bonus action, I cast sanctuary on myself. <laughs> Good call. Okay. And then Good I, plan. Great plan. I back up over here, over to the other side, side of the again? other side of the hallway. Oh, you you go all the way back to your sleeping quarters. <laughs> I would like to <laughs> take a nap. Um, you could probably be like under this table if you want. Right? Back. Oh no, it's not a table. This is a uh, this is the kitchen. I'm thinking. Uh, are we in that room? You're in the room beneath this room, which is the same floor pattern. We're not in this hallway. Is this is this I is walkable we're here? Uh, no, we were in the armory. Sure, yeah, that's the hallway. You're in the hallway. So I'm just uh, I'm gonna be over here towards the exterior wall. In the like hallway. over here or over here? Right there. Right, there. right where you're pointing. At. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Shadow three. Uh, he's right in front of you. Yeah. Uh, takes another swing at night uh, or earlier. Get some get some fresh dice for this one. But that was a bad idea. You know what That's eight. Castle. Okay. Second attack. The right. That is fifteen. Uh, is my answer right here? Okay. Oh, for fighting, yeah. Okay. That is ten. Ten points of psychic damage, and you kind of feel the pain behind your eyes. Yeah. Hurt. Okay. Uh, you then use his bonus action. He turns back into a shadow. It looks like he's just melds in with the darkness on the wall. Although I'm still casting, I have light on a dagger, so like I'm. Yep. Protruding light. Yep. So you're protruding light, which means there are shadows. Yep. You just kind of into one of those shadows. Okay. Unless that light is radiant, no. then it's just light. It's... Okay. So the other one uh, is Varn. Yeah. Before Shadow 13. So Varn gets a turn. You see there's only one visible right now. Is it the one that was right? front of me that uh opportunity attacked me no this one is one that just came out of the shadows to opportunity attack nyrex 
I don't know if I should use a spell slot or not yet. It's probably 10 feet from you. We're all going to die. Use your spell slot. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll use a uh, second level, uh, you know, Scorching Ray again. And all against that one guy. Uh, so we've uh, we've already gone over this. A ten wouldn't hit, right? Uh, uh, nineteen would hit still, though, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, a nineteen would be nine. Uh, ten. Ten plus four, that would be fourteen fire damage. And uh, a nat twenty, I would double all my dice. And a nat twenty on your second attack. Oh no, this is uh, Ray, a uh, uh, Scorching Ray, I guess, 3D. Okay, so this is your third. And third breath. Okay. And where is my other D8? There. Uh, this is... 3, 6, 6. So that is 22, 22 plus 5, that's 27, plus 4 is... Uh, okay. What kind and of damage? I know this Yes, you see, damage. you see the fire, and as it hits him, it kind of lights up in his eyes, and he seems to enjoy the flame. Yes, yeah, sucks it up. His nose. Sniffs it right up his nose. <laughs> Thanks for the recharge. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it like this. It's supercharged. No, he now has yeah. flame claws. <laughs> In a leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're into BDSM! All right. <laughs> okay. No one who wanted. Uh, so you just shot at 13. Now it's 13's turn, and he's going to move right up forward. Can't I still run away? You can try. You can try and outrun him right now. He's he's chasing you down. Yeah, I'm Tom and Jerry. I'm just... how, how far can you run? What's 30 your... feet. Okay. Run by me. He, I run, run, he does run board. by you. He'll run by you okay. to catch him. He can also run 30 feet. But so he was 10 feet away. So unless, <laughs> if you run towards the door, he's going to catch you. Because you're running like this and he's running like that. No, I'm just going to be running around. So well, you're, just, just... you're going to run that way away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I Go will... to that dark corner on the other side of the room. I'll put this in your hands. <laughs> If you want to run in a direction that is just 30 feet further away from him, not necessarily towards the door, then you can it's stay out of his reach. Deeper into the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I find it funny that we're always going to be like 10 feet away no matter our... <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm saying. He's 10 feet away. He has 30, you have 30. So if you both run, you'll still be 10 feet away. But if you run towards the door, He's gonna catch you. Is there a way for it uh, for me to make it so it would have to run next to Dagger without going to the door? Uh, you could run in that other door. corner. So okay. you you could run to this corner and draw him between Dagger. He would have to pass by Dagger to get to you. Okay. Okay. okay so I don't think it's like you run to the corner. He passes by Dagger and runs towards the corner. Dagger gets to use what's the, the only ones I like. This one's called uh, Barrage. No, what did you call it? Uh, brace. 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 First time I've used this. So uh, 20 hits, I assume. 20 hits. Okay. Uh, so 7 electric. It bounces off him, goes back towards you. Uh, and. Uh, that's new. <laughs> yeah, that's new. <laughs> Supercharged someone's put on. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm making it. Fire and I'm making this For some reason, he looks like Spike from Gremlins to me now in my head. <laughs> new. Me. No, these guys, 24. they're just Spike from Gremlins, but they're ghosts. I need to more damage. more damage. Plus seven electric. I love okay. that movie. And this is a non magical slashing. No, it's a oh, magical. It's like so magical, this is the whip. Yeah, okay. it's all. Okay. It's, it's a magical. It's magical. Whip. It's just the lightning doesn't quite crackle as much. And that's 13, right? The one that's chasing you? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only one that's good. It's a pure noise. 
Well, this could be our torture chamber. We just throw people in here for a while. It's our own torture. <laughs> still wish that door was still that having was... the swapping persona. The front door? Yeah. So it's barn and then 13. So now we're at top. Okay, so now I'm going to add uh, Shadow 12 into the mix. Shadow 12 is going to go at initiative turn. I think we should have just eight. taken the rope down to the, the fire. Yeah. Well, we didn't know there would be two floors to get through to get where we need to go. Oh, where did that go? Still at zero. But it, it, no, the, one more up. Eight, enter. Well, what we have to there determine is okay. if we can lift the curse at the pool, will all this shit go away? Do we even need to do this fight? There we if go. we go the straight way down to the pool? We do get it. Oh no, we don't have that speed smell, so. so there's some way of not doing this now. Maybe we don't have to fight these things. Okay, so. But yeah, they're. they're we, guys? We, <laughs> maybe we can just parlay with the, de uh, the demons. Okay, so um, you run into the corner. You uh, evade the one that is chasing you, that dagger attacks, and one comes, and one comes out from behind you and gives you the. <laughs> <laughs> so you tickle him? Yeah, I reach around. Yeah, one of those. I, reach around, yeah. I use my reaction to grovel cover and back. Okay, does that. It's not. It's not. It's a full action. It's a full action. Oh, well, then. Uh, uh, that doesn't work. That's a. Uh, free action key. <laughs> <laughs> Dribble on the floor. Word. Okay. <laughs> a silent scream. That, uh, that's a crit to hit. Oh, oh uh, I think that hits. A new reaction in shield or something? Oh, I not for Yeah, not crit. for crit. crit. Oh, yeah. luck, no, lucky doesn't work with this, would it? No. Uh, it would just be to re-roll. Re yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. good uh, call on the lucky. That's where you use it. Okay. I can re-roll that at advantage because he gets advantage. And then I just take the lower one. What? Yeah. No, you just no. re-roll it. You re-roll re and then I believe he gets to pick the dice. Yeah. Which yeah. dice? Right. Okay, so, so the re -roll I re-roll at 20. advantage and then he gets to use Where? this advantage really? roll or the, first the other, one, the first advantage the, roll. Yes. Yeah. So if you roll, if you make someone roll disadvantage, if they use the lucky feet, they can use like double disadvantage. No advantage because you've rolled now three dice and he gets to pick which dice you choose. Oh, I see. But Triple in this advantage. case, it's still advantage. Still advantage. Yes. And my advantage roll was 16 plus it is five for his, so that's 21. But it's not a, it's crit. not a crit. Yeah, and you could use your shield. And I'm going to. You use can't use. Oh yeah, because that wasn't a reaction. No. And I, well, my AC would be exactly twenty-one. No, it's, then it would work. Yeah. Okay. okay so, so twenty-one hits. So, but, but it's, it's not, not a crit. crit. And that's good because crit sucks. Crit from <laughs> hidden. Trust really me, sucks. I know. <laughs> Thirty points of damage, one hit. Yeah. That hurt. Okay. At least you're not vulnerable to it. Okay, so that's 14 and 3. Uh, this is the only one that came out. 17 points of psychic to barn. 17 points of psychic? 17 points of psychic to barn. Okay, that's fine. No, and, not that great, but. Uh, and this one, it, it like attacked you from behind, and then it gives this bonus action because it's its turn to just go back on the wall. It's like in the shadows. As you know, Dag Dagger's lantern is whipping around. His daggers. Um, one minute. And there's but plenty of shadow. Uh, top of the round is Dagger. Okay. So you're in the room with me still? Well, I'm just standing in the doorway. Okay. Um, do I see anything within range? I'm like with my lantern. You. 13 you see 13 the one that the one that is moving towards barn yeah that you swung at is yeah. still visible right there okay i'm gonna i'm gonna smack him this is 
go visible? I'll say he's visible. I know. I know, but he has a bonus action hide, and it was his turn, so I don't think he's visible. Right? He Shadow 13 just went, and then Shadow 12 came off the wall. Okay. And Shadow 12 has a bonus action he can hide, but Shadow 13 had a bonus action he hid. I think I said it. I okay. just, so they're both invisible? They're both hidden right now, yeah. Can you just, like, spin your whip in the air? Well, if I can't see them, I can't hit them. Um... I'm going to ready an action to hit anything that that's in your range, yeah. which is 10 feet. Yeah. So you got a bigger range than most. Yeah. Okay. Stand in the door, protecting everybody behind. Oh, you're running to the door. I'm at the door. I thought you were between Barn and Shadow 13, which we're saying was in the corner here. Because Barn ran to this corner. Okay. So you can use your movement now to move towards the door. Yeah. Do you want to, like, block the door? So there's 12 left. You ran into the corner. And the only people in the room now are Nyrex, Varn, and Daggers at the door. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not in the room. Oh, or Lear. Or Lear, sorry. Varn. Or Lear, Varn, and Dagger, who's yeah. blocking the door. Nyrex and Mary are outside having a smoke. Yeah. I... I vote weakly. Drop a moonbeam in there. Uh, I was waiting for my turn. Right above you. <laughs> Actually, he's two foot taller than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he died? Yeah. You lost concentration? Yeah. Okay, so, Dagger, you're just holding the reaction. Yeah. Standing in the doorway. And shadow one is hidden. <clears throat> uh, shadow one's going to attack or leer. So he comes from hidden yeah. to attack. That's a cock die. That's that is. That is. That's a 21. Attack. Alert. 21 hits. Okay. You're going to yeah. shield that. I can't have used my action. Okay. I'm going to start using guiding bolts. That is. Time yeah. to use the necklace there, or there. I think I'm going to lay down and cast Thunder Wave up. That is 23 points of damage. Jesus. Get the hell out of there. Okay. And Shadow One goes hidden. Shadow One goes hidden or Lear. Your turn. I need you to roll this die for me. Why? What the fuck? Hey. You switch um, spots with. <laughs> um. So Seth says. With Seth. Hey, call there. Watch what I can do. Oh fuck off. Oh. And you hey, find you're yourself, now. um, standing uh, at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, Calder's at the top of the ladder. Is like, hey, can you hand me that hammer? And all of a sudden, like, he's reaching down, and you like, and your hand is right here, and you're like, oh, um, hi. All bloodied. Sure, yeah. Uh, One less fucking, thing to worry about over there. Uh, <laughs> I'll spin my necklace, and I'll go back, son of a. You, you okay. didn't give him his hammer. <laughs> no, Seth comes back with the hammer. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Action to do that? Uh, I think it is. Well, let's see oh, what it oh is. no! <laughs> <laughs> I think we made it possessed by a demon. I think we made it a bonus action, actually. So that burns your bonus action. But at least now that's used up, and he can't do it again. Still needs, still needs it. But if when he needs it, yeah, you can't find him now if he does something stupid. I'll, I'll put my hands together and I'll be like, Mary, I need a bit of help. And I'll use radiant consumption and start to like emit radiant light for myself. Okay. Mary looks at you confused. Well, you can see I'm bleeding now. Oh, you need healing. 
and I'll uh, I'll back up like I've it's like a ten foot radius around me. Okay, ten foot radius around you. Yeah, and I'll take four points of damage. And then everyone within the ten foot radius. Yeah. So you're, where are you? I am like, kind of like fifteen feet in front of the doorway. So like I have a ten foot radius around me. So I know dagger's not in it because I would have been smart enough to not do that. Have I ever seen you use that ability yeah. before? So you'd have to move further into the room not to hit dagger. No, I, I, that's why I said I moved like 15 feet. So right. I created the okay. bubble like circled around. Okay. Oh, fuck. You dumbass drunk people ruined all the charges of my staff. I could have healed everybody in the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to use lesser okay, restoration so on two of you. Is that that's your action? My action yeah. and your movement to move to the not center of the room, but yeah, into the room to, to yeah. have that and light. I had not, bonus action. I saved your life place. just now, so yeah. okay. <laughs> I could that's mask everybody. your wounds, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna move to the uh, in the hallway. Bright light, the bright light shining out of the room like it's it's radiant light well i'm radiating light it's not radiant light it's radiant damage though is it not it is radiant damage anything that comes okay. within okay. yeah i'm not going into that thing but i'm standing in the hallway so i can see through the door okay your your door peeking yeah and i'm going to hold my action to cast a moonbeam at third level on the first demon thing i see okay that's that's it and oh and then i'm going to turn into a polar bear on that by the you way no you can't, you can't do can't. that you can't hold the spell oh you're and, right yeah i didn't cast it yet so I, I will just hold the spell and stay as i am and that uses the spell slot right away it yep. uses the spell slot and you use your reaction to cast it it's already uh done very right so as soon as you see a shadow you're going to cast it on it yep. no matter where it is I have 120 foot range, so I can get the whole room. Yeah, but if if that shadow is right beside someone else, you're casting your moonbeam, or you're dropping it. I'll let you not cast it, but it still burns the spell. Well, I'm gonna, I, it's gonna end up uh, getting the the thing, but not the person next to him. Okay, just this one square. Oh, one square. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not ten foot Okay. Goodness. Okay, so Nyrex, you have to stay peeking on that doorway. Your your line of sight. You can't duck back. Yeah, I need to. I need to be able to see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a demon or whatever. Okay. Now it's Mary's turn. Mary, uh, Nyrex is door peeking. Mm -hmm. He's, He's in door front too. of the door, inside the room. I'm not in the room. And you're outside the room. I'm, not in just the, asking I'm, I'm outside the room, Jason. Yes, yes. yes. Dagger's inside, you're outside. Yeah. So so you could so see Orlier. If you look over, you could see Orlier. If you want to go to him, you have to go through his space. But have I seen this ability before that he's you using? Yes, you have seen this. Then I can't get to you, so I can't heal you. Because if I get near you, I'll be stunned. What about healing word? Healing word would work. I don't use healing word. I have cure wounds. Healing word does D4 and hit points. Then you have to go in and <laughs> heal them both. I'll heal you. Just hold on. You have to end your turn there. Oh, it's not when you start your turn? Yeah. Okay. As long as you can leave. So I can get, like, I'm five feet away from the door over here. So I go 5, 10, 15, and then I'd be beside you. Yeah. And then, you're more than 15 feet in the room. Dagger's five feet in the room, and you're not getting dagger. No. So, yeah, there's like 10 feet. So right. There's, so, yeah, if he walks 15, he'd be next to me. Okay. So, yeah. you walk in to heal or leer. And then back out again. And within 30, like with 30 feet of movement, I can walk in, heal, and walk back out. Yeah. You okay. can be on the other side of dagger. Just. Okay. I do that. I use this. I use spell. Yeah. I use. I will tell you how much I'll heal in a minute. Um, 
I'm not going to do anything with the bonus action. Hey, a question for the oh. DM. Yeah. With with my held action, can I also, after casting that spell, move back five feet? No, no. Oh, okay. You have to stay in the doorway in order to do the action, and that action might not happen at all. Right, right? but I would still have movement, right? I haven't used movement. Yeah, can you, you can't hold? break up your movement. You can't hold movement? You can't break up your movement on a reaction. Okay. Could action dash as a reaction? But as your trigger? You say so I'm walking past Nyrex and Dagger and yeah. him. Yeah. Okay, then what I'm going to do is channel Divinity Bomb of Peace. And you guys will all get healed. Doesn't sound like it. Bomb? Bomb of Peace? Bomb of Peace. <laughs> peace you Bomb. You all get 13 hit points. Ooh, Drops. Is there anyone? He's he's in the corner. I can't get to him. Oh, is that like a bomb? Bomb. Like, so like you, you're like peace bomb. You're like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. You reach into your sack and you pull out some bomb. As an action, I move my speed without pro provoking your tax opportunity, and anyone within five feet of me heals, of my choice. Nice. You just rub some lotion on them. Yeah. I just go. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> there are thirteen hit points for everybody. Your water boy. Everybody? Well, not you, because you're not there. You're in the corner. Yeah. Should I reduce myself and just hide in the cracks and like the, the stone? <laughs> you're still going to get hide from a shadow? Hide from yeah. a shadow. Yeah. They'll pick what you if I make claws. Shadow, so it doesn't want to kill me. Shadow. Well, the coffee's the shadow's coffee, uh, in the. So if I get in myself, it will get in too. I have a bonus action spiritual weapon. Where? Uh, right beside you. There's one, right? I don't know. There's there's light shining from him yeah. that is ten feet on either side. There isn't any visible one. I thought he Not just right got attacked. No. No? no. Okay, I won't bother with that. That's my turn. And I'm back in the spot I started outside in, the room. In the doorway outside the room. Yeah. Okay, Shadow 3 um, uh, appears. Shadow 3 appeared in front of Dagger. Um, so immediately takes... I don't think he'd be in the light, though. I think he can get to Dagger without being in the light. Okay. But also Somebody Dagger did pull his action. It gets a uh, moonbeam gets shot at it right away. Right. Dagger's held his action. We're going to do that one first, and then we're going to do, then we're going to do a moonbeam. Yeah. So it, it moves forward out of... It comes out of... The shadow. Out of shadow, it's going to get its attack. Yeah. Then dagger gets an attack. Right? Because wouldn't that hidden attack get before a uh, held attack? attack? Would happen first because yeah. Yeah, the moonbeam damage doesn't happen until he le tries to leave it. No, until he enters it the first time. Yeah, but I'm operating it where he is. Yeah, but it because it's a because it's a held action, you cast it and it's it's. On its turn, it gets cast, so it will. It would happen damage. right away. But yeah, at the happens. at the end of his turn, he takes the damage because he stays. He chooses to stay within it. Yes. Uh, I've got a twenty-four to hit. That hits. Okay. I might parry that. Oh no, I can't. It's psychic damage. No, I'm going to parry that. Then I'm not going to get the attack. Can parry psychic damage? Well, it's in the, if it's an attack, you can, no, you can't see it. Oh, I can't see it. Right. Yeah, we did this already. Got left. Mm. I got two. Left. Nineteen points of psychic damage. Yeah. Are you still standing? Yeah, I, he just healed me. Yeah. 
So now you can attack him back. Yeah. Yes, I swing and I roll the two, so I missed. Uh, and he has a second attack. It's his turn. No, now he gets me and Yeah, he won't because the Irax is held action. Sure. <laughs> he hasn't taken any damage yet, so the Moonbeam, he'll probably withstand. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yep, we'll take the Moonbeam. The Rainian stuff. He says that I don't, like, I don't take the damage unless I leave the zone, but it's his turn, I think, that you take the damage as soon as it's cast. Yeah. So, roll a con save. Okay. It says when it enters for the first time or starts... Starts its, turn starts its turn here. So it's starting its turn. The con save is 19. So it's a pass. It takes half damage. Unless it's a shape changer. Then it needs to be good. Yes, okay. yes. About the shape changer every time. So uh, 18 points of radiant damage. And uh, it's not. And that's doubled, but then half again, I guess. So it's 18. 18. Because it's saved. So it would be half. And double right. So just stays the same. Okay. Advantage. And now it gets second attack against dagger. It's advantage on it. The first one cocked against the side. So okay. I just rolled another one, and it was even worse. So it doesn't matter. And is it uh, glowing and radiant uh, damage? It looks like it's taking double damage. Now it's shining brightly with ghostly radiant flames looking at it. Yeah. It is in a spotlight of moonbeam damage. That's radiant. It, it has nowhere to hide. Let's put it that way. That's even better. Yeah. It can't hide in the shadows if it's in the moonbeam. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that it... Uh, I'm going to say it's it sees there. no damage or it sees no shadows. It sees no shadows to hide because it's in a spotlight. Does the shadow cast a shadow? No. <laughs> um, Varn, you're up. Okay. Shadow three is caught in a moonbeam and it's the only one visible. Okay. No, nothing is res uh, resistant to forcing. Well, there are a few things, but let's say I cast a uh, shatter at level two, my second, second level, uh, my last second level spell, right on that guy. And shatter is why? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What? It's gonna get. Oh, that's why. It's gonna get anyone in that radius. Yeah, yeah I so can good. Move the radius. So, uh, six, uh, I can do it sixty feet away. Uh, yep. It's ten foot radius. Yeah. Sphere. So it's Twenty foot here. Okay. Foot mm. Yeah. And so, and in order to get the guy who's visible, you're gonna get dagger and not or leer, or or leer and not dagger, because he's kind of wall dagger. Shadow or Lear, and there's a radiant light around or Lear. Can I do crisscross applesauce and cast it right above me, so I get, uh, so I can get the one that was attacking me beforehand? You or don't was know that... where it is. You it's can, you can, you can attempt. Shadow. You know that yeah. you've been attacked from behind. You can kind of back up and cast it at the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll allow that. It's kind of a, like a disadvantage kind of thing. It's a, but it's not an attack save. spell, it's a save. Yeah, it's a con save. Right, so if you're... It's a fi uh, 15. So... Not thunder damage? But is it thunder damage or is it force damage? It's, I don't know. Thunder, no, it's thunder damage. Thunder damage, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say that's a con save. I think it's an 8. Oh, that means it would fail. Yeah, if it's there. If it's there. So that is 11 damage plus 4, so that would be 15. Oh, and it's also from my focus, so I add another d8. 
Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, and you said this is, was it thunder? Thunder. And also it would break any objects, uh, do double damage to objects and stuff. So, I'd probably so you're starting to walls. bust holes in the room. Is it a load bearing wall? This is a foundational wall, yes, yes. Not load bearing maybe, but we'll see. Um, do I need to roll for thunder that? Thunder damage, I'm just looking, hang on. Okay, thunder, and that was 18 points of thunder. <clears throat> and are you thrust my action to move away? I have decent AC. I'm just going to. Okay. Towards the rest of the group. Okay. It would do an opportunity attack against me. Okay. So if you move towards the rest of the group, there's, there's one between Egger and you. And if you go the other way, you're going to go into his light, or you have to go a long way around, and not go in the light. You can go through the light if you can get past it, if he's able to get. Can I get past it at thirty feet? Um. I need by the light. What's up, by dudes? You could get past it, but not out of the room. Okay, that's fine. You pass through the light to go to the other side of Orlier, pass the other out the other side of the light, mm. but not out of the room. You just go across to the other side of the wall. Hey, how are you doing? But close to the door, though. Uh, is your close to the door, wall? but not out of the door. And not because you got you in front of the door, he's in front of the door. Everyone's in front of the door. I thought we leave. <clears throat> so I, this one there that seems you, like there's too many. The one that you've attacked, you're right, does get an opportunity attack against you. Uh, with that. But it uh, doesn't want to. Oh, uh, it's gonna do it, and it'll become not hidden. Did I? Was, was I able to hit it though? Um, you, you don't know, but maybe it looks like. Is it holding its ears? <laughs> <laughs> little blood coming out of one of the little <laughs> devil ears. Okay, he uh, attacks, but it doesn't hit. I rolled poorly, and now it is visible. So this is, if you care, shadow 12. Now visible in the corner of the room that Varn just left. Now there are two visible. One is Moonbeam, right beside Dagger. The other one is in the corner, away from the door. Uh, can you rate from one to 10 how much uh, damage you took from my spell? <laughs> oh, yeah. Demon's not gonna say anything to you about that. <laughs> shadow 13, however, um, he will appear. Uh, he is not going to enter your blinding light. Okay. Not going to attack you because okay. no, no, there's no way he wants to get even in that bubble. Perfect. Um, you're already being attacked by the other one, but Varn just entered over here now onto this side of the room. He's going to be like, "Oh, hey, look, there's someone right here I can attack." I'm not tasty. Um, I'm gonna attack Varn again. Big tasty. Big tasty. Big tasty. Big tasty. Okay, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20, I think that hits, yeah, with uh, my 17 AC. Okay. But you could reaction cast. Oh, yes, I can. I, oh, or I can lucky point it. Do you want to lucky it? Or I'm do you want to shield it? I, I have like a couple first level spells. Yeah, that that's why this is the choice. I'm gonna lucky it. I have three luckies. And you've used one. A reroll. The reroll is 22. I'm going to shield. Okay, so you can do that. On the, the first one, yeah. and then you're going to cast shield. Right. The first one was was dirty 20, so it doesn't hit if you use shield. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now my AC is 22 until the start of my turn. 20. No, no it's 21. Oh, 21. No, your AC is 17, you have 5. That's yeah. 22. Oh, I thought he said before 21 was his max. I screwed up, so. Well, you took the hit before, and you saved from it this time. Okay, so that ends... No, Shadow... Shadow 12? Shadow 13. Shadow 13 goes back into Shadow. Shadow 12... Where is... 
he's the one on the wall that took damage. He used yeah. his reaction. Yeah. But now it's his turn. Yeah. Um, he can approach dagger. No, he'd have to go through a moonbeam. So he don't want to go through a moonbeam. He don't want to go into uh, blinding light. What else can he do? He's got something else he can do. Not attack barn. Ranged attacks. Epic ones. Not many monsters actually have ranged attacks. So I'm gonna lich. Oh, he is going to go through the wall into the hallway. Oh fuck. Oh, he can't leave the room. He's in the hallway. Hey, doesn't through. he have to go through or there's bubble to get through there? No, because he, he's, he's moving place. through the wall. Oh, he went through the wall. Yes. I just Shit. looked at one of his other features, and he has uh, incorporeal movement. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go through the wall, out into the hallway, and who's in the hallway that he can see? For fuck's sake. Nyrax. And me. Behind Nyrax, Mary. Not Mary and then Nyrax. Mary's at the door. Mary's near the exterior wall. Mary's at the door, and Nyrax is over here. No, the opposite. Other way around. Okay, so then he'll go through the wall right here, and then move up to here and attack Nyrax. Because he can do that. Um, <clears throat> I would say. I would say this wouldn't be a hidden attack. This is him cool. coming down the hall and attacking you. So That's a lit he's not hall get... too, right? Probably chuckling the whole time too. Yeah, you this hear hall. him coming. So it's not a <laughs> sneak attack or a hidden attack. This hall is all lit up too, isn't it? No. No. That's a twenty-three to hit. That hits. But only nine points of damage. All right. We don't have any light in this hallway. The light. Uh, I gotta do a con save. shed from me because it goes out to twenty feet. So but the light comes the like door. straight back. And Not... Irax is in the doorway. Yeah. All of her characters are gonna have like irrational fears of the dark. Okay. Now on. So the first one hits. You took nine points of damage. Yes. Moonbeam stays up. Okay. Nice. Second attack from the one in the hallway. Now attacking you for a dirty 20. All right. Take that one too. Yep. Okay. That is 13 points of damage. Should have been a bear. Uh, <laughs> and the uh, it stays up. You're good. Nice. That is 12. Now we're at the top of the order. Dagger. Can I see one of these things <laughs> close to me? There's one in the moonbeam. There's beam one in the moonbeam in front of you. Okay. And there's another one. No, one of them went into there, and there was one other one visible. The other one that was visible just in went the through hall. the wall. Right. Okay, the one in the moonbeam is going to die. That was... You be dead. That was three. Sixteen hit. Yes, sixteen hits. I'm gonna whip, whip them good. Um, and in oh, wait, a and four of that is electrical. Oh, so don't don't give me the electrical damage. Oh, they're completely immune. Totally immune. That's what it is. Twenty-two points a day. Okay. And I'll use my action surge. Doesn't go down. No, it doesn't go down. But it took took good damage then. I'm right, gonna use my action I surge. Think you guess, exactly. Is this the one in the moon boot? You don't get a sneak on your action no, surge. I don't. Okay. Um, I can only sneak once per turn. Yeah. Okay. I you can sneak attack. I think. Bonus action. Disengage. Yeah, I'm going to go out into the hallway and see if I can see where the other one is. 
S, you would have seen it go through the wall. Yeah. So yeah, you can run out and you'd have to go past earlier, past Mary, past Nyrex to get to him. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get to him. I just want to see what it was. Oh, he's on the other side of Nyrex. I my lantern on. But the lantern is just dim light, right? You can light. Up, do, uh, undo the latch. No, no, it's to take the, do you take the hood off? Well, it's not. You go hoodless? Yeah, well, it's not. <laughs> okay. It sounds kind of like for talking. Yeah. I just mean uh, the the lantern light is not like bright sunlight. It's just a lantern. Yeah. You get dim light from that. You don't get like bright light. Well, this might be an energizer. Forty thousand lumen. Yeah. Okay. okay. LED. <laughs> What's that? Like gas powered lantern? Like a ketamine? No. Kerosene. Kerosene. Kind of means something else. Yep. <laughs> Certainly is. <laughs> it's good for you. You should try it. Uh, we... Dagger ran out of the room. Barn's still in the room. Or Lear's still in the room. I don't know what their demons. Maybe you guys are all out of the room. The other guys are out of the room. Mm -hmm. We are in Castle Town. Okay, lot. then uh, Shadow One is going to attack. Uh, not going to attack or Lear. Going to attack Barn. Please, no, I don't have a family. Kind of will. Yeah, we're right here. Maybe you get Sniv out here. Yeah. Or we just keep him as a, a, a ch child baby. Um, you. Be helpful. You still have your shield up. Yep. I just rolled two crits. Well, I have a lucky point. You have a last lucky point. Yeah. Yikes. I can't believe it. That's the first time you roll advantage and get two crits. Okay. Roll but, that advantage and you double crit with two points. That's just one match. I know it is, but that's pretty cool. Okay. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that is. It's <laughs> not as cool as if you did it with disadvantage. Or if I had rolled two attacks and got yeah. two crits. That, that's the way it goes. Okay, it's the the second roll that you can choose is a dirty twenty. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't take any damage. Okay, so no damage from the first attack. It does. It still look like uh, it, it would have been an at twenty, but I duck out of the way. Or the... Yeah, describe to me what that looks like. Like I, I go down to tie my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been right across the top of your head, but. You're ducking up. My neck would have been slit. <laughs> Is that You're, a penny? You have the shakes and you yeah. shake out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's 22. 22, that would have just hit. the shields or no? Yeah, it's 22. 22, 22 hits? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 22. And you're out of lucky points. So the Can second... I shield a shield? No, I don't have another no. reaction. <laughs> Can't build a shield. But Two condoms is nice. I don't get the double don't damage. Finish. That is 11 points of damage. 11 psychic damage. I'm sorry for saying that. And it can use its reaction to sorry. hide in the shadows. Or it's not action. reaction, it's bonus action. Okay, and that was shadow one. That was shadow one. Okay. And now it's Orlier's turn. So where is Barn in relation to like Orlier? Not very far away, right? I'm no. like literally right outside your light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's he's by the door, yeah. but in front of those who are in front of the door, mm -hmm. but still outside of your light. If you okay. move towards the door, you get him. You get Dagger. Thing is, but if you move, can move through walls. The door doesn't help us? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we might Maybe as well be in an open area. The doorway area, and we can just make uh, it like an open. Uh, they're the definitely, they don't, 
they don't have away from the light. You, you see them no, appear I mean, so and so we don't move out and around. Around. They're not going to get into that they light. They walk through walls. What so if I walk to a corner I'm, to get the I'm understanding what you're saying. Me, would I get anybody else? There's one in the moonbeam. Yeah. If I walk within 10 feet of that. Yeah, if you go, if you swing around yeah, the outside, sure, you I'll get out that. a dagger and you can get that yeah. one. Double double radiant on that guy. Yeah. He's going to take your radiant damage now. And at yeah. the start of his turn, he'll take moonbeam damage if he isn't dead by now. Yeah, I'll move over to the corner and I'll just cast uh, Sacred Flame. Oh, you don't even need to cast anything, right? You still have your radiant thing. Yeah, and when I end my turn, anything within the bubble when I end my turn. Okay, so you're still going to do your spells. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to move over. I'm going to action cast Sacred Flame. Save? Yeah. This is Citadel. I'm going to go Dark Dice. Dark Dice. Why? That's, we're going to roll something better. I mean, we're rolling terrible. What? Two For nat saves. 20s Wait, in a row. Yeah, you're rolling terrible. Yeah. For saves. All my saves have failed. Yeah. Um, is this a con save? It's a dex. Dex save. save. One of my movies. Dex save is 19. That saves? Yes. Um, the dirt takes damage. Because it's a cantra. Sucker save. Yeah. Uh, That's the first time I've saved. Bonus action. No, it's not. You saved against Moonbeam and the Shatter, I believe. Boy, there's not another one visible, is there? No, you no. didn't save against the Shatter. There's not another it. one visible, is there? Not right now. No. Yeah. So that's all I'll do. And when I end my turn, it'll take four more points. Actually, yeah, it'll take four more points for radiant damage. Which is eight points. Yeah. Okay. And I'll take four more. Okay. Okay, Nyrex, you're up. All right, I will wild shape into a polar bear. It's not entertaining enough for you? This is. And uh, I will attack the demon in the hallway with a multi-attack. Yes. Uh, that misses, the first one. Is polar bear a large creature? Yes. You don't fit in this hallway. Oh, really? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean... It, I guess I would know that, right? The creature is 10 feet wide on yeah, the square. You're right. Right. So I, I would know that, I guess. and uh, I'll run into the room and change into a polar bear. How about that? Yep, you can do that. Okay. And I'll... I'll... Fuck her. But you take a <laughs> Sorry, man. I can't help you. Yeah. You take an attack of opportunity because this guy's right in front of you. But I know what I'm doing. Ah, maybe I should rethink this. You're going to take an attack of opportunity in your regular form. I'll change into a bear for. Oh, no, I can't. Fuck. But it has to be a medium sized creature to fit in this hallway. And you can only do beasts. Chicken. <laughs> Kick him? Are you pulling him a I'm chicken? Gonna, I'm going to go down here if I don't get out of here. Chicken. Giant spider is medium, isn't it? They don't have any good place, though. I don't okay. want to be a giant spider. If you become something, I'm going to enlarge you. I, I just just become a small chicken and then get then enlarged. Then you can be a really big chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you can be a polar bear and then you'll be a huge polar bear. No, but he can't fit in the hallway as a polar bear. I, I could, I could as an octopus. You can't move. You can't move. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold my breath for one hour. <laughs> Yellow. Move five foot around or something. Oh, for fuck. Be a giant rat and you'll be a huge rat. Uh, so you're saying a large creature can't fit in that hallway? Not in the hallway, no. Well, shit. I guess I'm going to... I'm going to go down. On who? If he hits me. Well, change into a creature that's not large, like a, a giant anaconda or something. Well, he doesn't get he doesn't get his uh, advantage to hit because he's visible. He's standing in front of you, right? Yeah. 
I didn't say he went hidden. So he's standing in front of you. So it's just going to be a regular attack roll. But if okay. you, you want to risk that, I will. No, I will. I, I was an action. I will disengage. Oh. Yes. And We're, I'll run into the room, and then yes. I will turn into a polar bear. As a bonus action. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> fair. <laughs> where awesome. where in the room are you going to turn into a polar bear? Uh, in a light? No. I'm going to get past that light so I don't turn into a polar bear in the light. And then who do I see when I get in there? Uh, you see Varn and Dagger. And Which one looks worse? Which one is screaming the loudest? I don't know. Which one are you screaming the loudest? I don't know. think he has any actions left. I'm always skittish. There he is. Varn's always screaming. Yeah. Right. If, you I'll, use I'll, your action, normal. if you use your action to disengage like and your bonus action to turn into a polar bear, you got no sure. actions left. Uh, no, but I just want to get my movement uh, close to them. Okay. okay, so I'll just go into the middle of the room there. And then I'll turn into a polar bear there. Okay, and because you disengaged, you negate any opportunity attacks from anything. Mm -hmm. Not just from the one that was standing in front of you. From yeah. everything. Oh, oh, wait. Can I... Uh, what is that room to the north? That's, that's the, the uh, under the kitchen where there's like janitor supplies that you just came from. Yeah, is, is it a big room? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big room. I could go in there and change, but then I can't get out. <laughs> stuck in there. Yeah, no, I'll go into the, the battle room. <laughs> okay. You're in the battle room. You're a polar bear. You have and, the polar bear stats. And... Uh, I uh, and have used up my near action. near Varn. I'm near Varn. I've used up my action, so it's just more of trying to draw attacks to me rather than Varn. Right, you are a new target in this room, yeah. and you pretty much walk out Varn because he's a small and then creature. And you kill yourself by being crushed into the ceiling. Yeah. I know, but it's that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I want to do. Something funny. Okay, should we take a break? Well, what we're almost think? at the end, aren't we? Well, do you want to just end the session or what? It's almost ten o'clock. Maybe we got. We're at Nyrex right now. Yeah. We can get to the end of this round. Sure. Nyrex, Mary. I think I think mm -hmm. I got this figured out. Mary. Turn. Uh, Nyrex just ran past you, and uh, you know, as he's going past you, he's like getting beastly. Like his his form is starting to change even as he's running, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mary. Ah, ah, ah. Good luck. I'm <laughs> going to cast Guiding Bolt at the thing 10 feet away from me. The visible one in, in, the, the, hallway. in the hallway. Oh, oh the, the one, one in the hallway. hallway. I miss. So bad. Um. Don't scope them though. It just like fit in the I can't get past the thing without. I know. Like, I can't move into the room without getting attacked. Well, up on no, me, you right? can. I Nyrex can't. was between you and the shadow. Yeah. And then Nyrex moved, so there's still five foot gap. But I have to move five foot forward and five foot over to get in through the doorway, right? Yeah. Can, can you run up the door. stairs? Why don't you run up the I, stairs? The okay, hang on. The uh, can I move diagonally? The shadows here. Okay. And you're here, unless you had to step forward to attack him. No, I used a range to yeah, attack. Yeah, so you, you're in no threat okay. to being attacked by him. And can I get in in back into the room without getting in his beam? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he moved to the, to the corner. He moved over here. Okay. Yeah. I will move 10 feet into the room, I guess. Okay, so about 10 feet into the room is Varn, and right in front of Varn is this big polar bear. So you can move. Up to the barn or up to the polar bear? Up to the polar climb bear. Climb on my back. <laughs> Don't climb on his back at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can either you, make him levitate or make him in, uh, enlarge. I mean, you you get up close to the polar bear and you put your hand on him, and now he has this bloody handprint on him. Oh, it's like it's like Wilson from Castaway. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say more like you know the mark of the, the, the sour of man, the Orukai. <laughs> <The Urukai>. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Lots of Lord of the Rings references to me. Always for the best. Lord of the Flesh. Okay. Shadow mm-hmm. Three. He, he doesn't Shadow Three is in the Moonbeam. The Moonbeam. When he starts his turn, he makes. He's gonna. Save. He's gonna take a Moonbeam hit. Yeah. So con save. To make it at disadvantage because he's in radiant like light. So he's just gonna take radiant light at the end of your turn, also, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You're right. Cuz he's in radiant light yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll, I'll do it. I don't it know. I was just asking. That's, no, that's light that's, sensitivity. That's the one thing I was asking about before. He's yeah. in light. Fine. He's in light. But if he's in radiant light, yeah. that makes a difference. He's definitely in radiant light. Now. Yes. Okay, so he took it at disadvantage. He, sunlight. he got a 12. Uh, that's a I fail. Don't have daylight or sunlight or anything. All right, let's put this boy, bad boy down. Not prepared. For this. Not prepared either. I don't mm-hmm. have any prepared for that. Uh, Twenty-two points of radiant damage doubled. Okay. So forty-four yeah. points of radiant. I mean, like I don't think we're okay. going go here. Um, you see the shadow. It kind of like gets thinner and thinner and thinner, until it just sparkles and becomes part of the moonbeam. I think we need an exorcist. Our job. Shadow three is no more. Okay. So we killed. Uh, I have advantage on initiative. Okay, and yeah. kiss it. That's shadow three. So. Oh, that's his turn. And he dies before he gets a turn. Mm-hmm. And now it's Barnes' turn. Can I climb on the polar bear? Absolutely. I climb on the polar bear. Uh, ask for yeah. consent. Mm-hmm. Can I get consent to climb on you? Grr. That's a yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rah, rah. I'm taking that as a rah. yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Enlarge on the polar bear. <laughs> Which is how tall? He becomes a one size larger. So it's now he's now he's I'm, huge. I'm huge. He's huge. Huge takes up nine squares. What does that do to my stats? And becomes how how tall? Because the room's only room. fifteen feet tall. Yeah. He's, now he's definitely <laughs> crushed into the ceiling. Yes, <laughs> that's absolutely. <laughs> and you're on my back. <laughs> I'm like hugging you as tight as I can. The target size doubles in all dimensions. Flush. Yes. So, so whatever size he is now, he's double that in every direction. And its weight is multiplied by eight. Polar bear is... On all fours? How... Polar bear is pretty big. Yeah, it is. You're probably like a minimum standing. So I'm probably yeah. 10, 10 feet. Yeah. I'm probably 10 feet but... tall now. So I I still have some space. You still have a little bit of space. And like, despite all the pain and everything, I'm just like on it. You're like, you're like, holy shit, that was close. (laughs) Barn is like the happiest he's been in like a couple of days. He always just wanted to do this. (laughs) He checks off his bucket list. Ride a polar. He pulls it out and it's like, (laughs) (laughs) ride a huge polar bear. I take a bucket out of my uh, bag of holding. (laughs) So you get an extra D4 to your damage, and uh, you get reach, I believe. Five, four, five more feet of reach or something like that. I think the D4 is pretty minimal. Yeah. And you do get more reach. Also, you have a bigger uh, area of uh, attack of opportunity. And... Uh, cool. That's great. Chips. And save me throws. So I, I take up uh, three by three squares. 
like a three by three. Three by three, yeah. Though it should be a D six. Though if you look in the DM's guide for like weapons of like larger creatures, it actually gets. Okay, I'm going to move to uh, Shadow 13. If Varn, you're done. So, Varn, I'm you just, might be out of range of these things now. I'm, I'm just laughing. He's, <laughs> on, <laughs> he's on your back, which is yeah. now yeah. against the ceiling almost. Yeah, so you might be out of range for the, these yeah. guys to win. Uh, <laughs> so, Shadow 13, which is one in the room, mm -hmm. uh, is going to make a hidden attack here. against you, uh, Nyrex. Okay. I rocks the uh, polar bar. Yep. Uh, I rolled uh, to hits are a 21 and a 23. Both hit. That might be a good yeah, roll. Damage. Damage. Do I get extra hit points? Makes sense, but what does it say? No, you oh, don't no. get it. No, you're just bigger. You, you can get house bigger, rule and get an extra D4 damage, and you got reach. Yeah. No, I'm not going to help Sterling. Really <laughs> um, we'll take anything we can get at this point. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> it's worth a shot. 24 points of damage well. on the first hit. Oh, shit. And Blood splatters everywhere. Eighteen points of damage on the second hit. I'm a, psychic damage. I'm a druid again. Uh, Varn, you come crashing to the floor. Polar bear has... 42. Which yeah. is exactly what he just did. Yeah. And it's psychic damage, so there's no blood stains. Uh, you now you're wearing Varn as a hat. Now, Varn, you just fell 15 feet. <laughs> yeah, on him. So he takes the damage. <laughs> No, I think he would have. I would have shooken you off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you fall on him. He takes the damage. This could kill him. Oh. I have healing spells, so. Yeah, so except okay. everyone's dying here tonight. <laughs> so it's 1d6 for every 5 feet over 10. Yep. So it's 1d6 of damage. You get to roll the d6 of damage. Yay! Do, do I get a deck save at all? Ten, ten, ten. No. Every ten you just every ten. you just morphed back from being a huge Six. polar bear. Yay! How did he get? And then uh, Varn falls on you, and the, is this plus the, my strength? The, no. no, the pointy end of his uh, scabbard or whatever he's got, the staff or tail, like, tailbone, tail, tailbone. <laughs> I broke my tail. <laughs> yes, I got I get killed by Varn's ass. That six points was enough. Nope. No. Okay, well, six points of damage. But it's pretty damn close. <laughs> <laughs> you got that healing I gave, right? I'm on top of him now, Yeah, I right? did. Still? Okay, good. It, uh, went yeah, pretty and quick. you're prone. You're prone with Varn on top of you. Write that down for uh, next session. I just took 48 points of damage. Yeah. How the hell did you do this? Got hit twice, yeah. by, and then Varn hit me. Jesus. Two attacks from Hidden... And a barn to the head. The barn coup de gras. It kind of gets really weird. This is nuts. Okay, so we can end the session at the top of the order. We all gonna die. Yeah, I think we might. <laughs> we can end the session at the top of the order. There is. One exposed shadow in the hallway that you guys have seen that's not next to anyone right now. Mm -hmm. There is at least one that's hidden in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you've seen two. You, not necessarily like they have name tags, like one says shadow one and the other one says shadow 13. But from inside of this room, You've seen them being attacking you from two different spots at the yeah. same time. You know that there's not just the same one all the time. Mm -hmm. It's what like if... there was two here for a moment. There must be at least two. 
Mm. What if Jason is there any any just... like a uh, uh, badge that says like CR five or CR nine? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see what their CR number is, or to see that this is what the CR number is in the player's handbook, and this is the one that Jason uh, has over just, here. I'm just like because. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Perilous Pursuits. Be sure to check out our website at perilouspursuits.com. Rate, review, and tell your other party members about us. In the meantime, go take your demigore on for a walk, give your behenaloth a big hug, and go play some D&D. &D.